Chapter 2301 Going in Advanced Translator Born to be that object was a bronze plaque with a monster's head carved into it, and there was a brass ring through its nose. It was the door knocker that Long Chen had taken from the gates of hell. The door knocker flew out of Long Chen's hand. It rapidly grew larger, and the void rumbled. Death Chi filled the air. Without being able to sense the danger, the Xuan Beast's experts were blown apart by the mountain-sized bronze plaque. This treasure, which came from the netherworld, was something that awakened Empyreans who had stepped into the nether passage realm didn't have the slightest ability to resist. In that instant, Pen Wanchen went from someone confident that victory was within his grasp to shocked, and then horrified. He hastily retreated but was still struck. He vomited blood and flew back. Due to his greater experience and speed, he managed to escape death. However, a large hand grabbed his shoulder in a vice-like grip. Pen Wanchen turned in horror but didn't even get a chance to look before a foot stamped into his back. Just as the foot landed, another hand grabbed his ankle, picking him up. With a hand on Pen Wanchen's shoulder and another on his ankle, a malevolent expression appeared on Long Chen's face. Let's see just how tough the spines of the Pen race are. Pulling hard, while pressing with his left foot, a cracking sound rang out through the air. Long Chen forcibly split Pen Wanchen in half forcing out a mournful wail from him. At the same time, Long Chen unleashed his own power throughout Pen Wanchen's body, provoking his nerves to feel dozens of times the pain. Pen Wanchen almost fainted. The remaining experts of the Xuan beasts were horrified. They had only seen a ray of light tear through their midst that killed anyone it touched, and then Pen Wanchen had landed in Long Chen's hands. They hadn't even seen what that attack was. Pen Wanchen was now in Long Chen's hands. They didn't dare to make a rash move. The army of the Xuan beasts gathered up, looking at each other in dumbfounded silence. They didn't know what to do. Long Chen, release Pen Wanshan, or one of them started to threaten him. Long Chen suddenly twisted Pen Wanshan. It looked like his entire skeleton was being broken. Ahh Pen Wanshan screamed. His voice was chilling. What did you say? I didn't hear it clearly, said Long Chen. You. That expert's expression grew ugly. Now it was troublesome. Pen Wanchen was the largest figure of the Xuan beasts other than their leader. Pen Wanli. Having him be tormented in front of everyone was trampling over the dignity of the Xuan beasts. However, Pen Wanchen had truly been conceited. He should have immediately unleashed his full power as soon as he had seen Long Chen. He should have summoned his true form. Unfortunately for him, he had been too confident in victory. He had viewed Long Chen as insignificant. That act had been intentional by him to provoke Long Chen and bait him into charging into their midst so that they could kill him. In that situation, the only thing he had been worried about was Long Chen fleeing. So he had provoked him. At the very least, it could be said that his plan had worked very well. He had succeeded in drawing Long Chen over. Long Chen had taken his bait, but he hadn't taken the hook. The hook hadn't been sharp enough and had instead been smashed to pieces. It's been a long time. The Xuan beasts have gotten quite brave. Good. It just so happens that I was wondering where to go. Since you're so enthusiastic, I won't stand on courtesy. I see killing intent continued to rage in Long Chen's eyes. Suddenly, a flying boat tore through the void. A giant saber image crashed down from it, slashing toward the Xuan beasts. At the same time, an imposing and ominous voice rang out. Bastards of the Xuan beasts. If I don't smash you to pieces today, I'll write my name backward. This attack came so quickly that it seemed to surpass the limits of space time. From the moment the saber image appeared to when it landed, there was almost no delay at all. The Xuan beasts did their best to defend, but the saber image wiped out everything it touched. This saber image had contained the attacker's determination and fury. It was an attack that could not be stopped whether you ascended to the heavens or fled to hell. The majority of the Xuan beasts had been wiped out. The survivors were so terrified that they fled for their lives. Where do you think you're running? Today, I'll be hunting you all down to your headquarters. The void split open, revealing the old man. He held the heaven splitting blade. Killing intent surged out of him. When the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race had been attacked. Their alarms hadn't gone off. However, Li Xiangxuan had still sensed something wrong. Using the reincarnation mirror, he took a look. Even then, 
everything had apparently been normal. But after watching for a while, he started to get a bad feeling. The reason for that was because the fluctuations of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's grand formation were locked to the same frequency no matter how long he watched. That wasn't normal. He then quickly realized that someone had set up a larger formation to cover up what was going on inside. The next obvious conclusion was that the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race was being attacked. Following that, a quick investigation revealed that someone had stealthily cut off their connection with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's transportation formations. Everything had clearly been planned. Li Xiangxuan didn't hesitate any longer upon learning that. He immediately alerted Ku Jinying and the old man, moving at top speed to help the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. The old man had the worst temper and had ended up in quite a few conflicts with the Xuan beasts during this time, being in collusion with the other large powers, with even the divine family secretly supporting them. The Xuan beasts had infuriated him. Then Li Xiangxuan had told him that the Xuan beasts were attacking the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race which Long Chen had asked him to look after before going into seclusion. If something happened to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, how could he explain it to Long Chen? So upon seeing these Xuan beasts, he had directly unleashed a furious blow. The old man could not be held back, not even by himself. He had already decided that no matter what, he was going to slaughter the Xuan beasts. Even if Ku Jin Ying got in his way, it wouldn't matter. It was only after unleashing his attack that he realized Long Chen was there as well. Long Chen, you're back. The old man's anger vanished, replaced with delight. The old man and the others were quite emotional upon seeing them. The Dragonblood Legion had been missing for three extra months, and knowing how big Long Chen's guts were, they were vaguely aware that Long Chen had brought the entire Dragonblood Legion to attack the Nether Passage realm together. He had been looking for a way for everyone to pass. That was a path where they all lived, or they all died. But the chances of living were far too remote. So when he and the rest of the Dragonblood Legion didn't return, they could only come to accept this cruel reality. Their relief upon seeing him even temporarily blew away their anger at the Xuan beasts for this attack. Long Chen was also emotional upon seeing their reaction. For even an iron-hearted man like the old man to react like this showed how dear he was to them. Ku Jin Ying and Li Xiangxuan sighed in relief upon seeing him. A heavy weight lifted from their hearts. Sorry for worrying you, old man. I heard that the Xuan beasts are getting very arrogant? Are you interested in us two men doing something big? Shouted Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Of course I'm interested. Don't worry. Whatever calamity you provoke, I'll support you declared the old man. All right, then good. Long Chen suddenly pulled. Peng Wanchen let out a shriek as Long Chen twisted him into two loops, completely deforming him and his skeleton. Peng Wanchen exploded. His soul was unable to bear the torment any longer, and he self-detonated. He splattered Long Chen with blood, tossing half a leg to the ground. Long Chen shouted, Old man, Alliance Head, Xuan Master, and the other seniors. Just help me lock down their paths of retreat. Today, not one of the Xuan beasts that came here is allowed to leave. Brothers of the Dragonblood Legion, warriors of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, kill them all. Kill. Icy voices rang out in unison, all demanding blood. The Dragonblood warriors, as well as the experts of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, charged out. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi's Hikyu, Lu Ruian, and Dong Mingyu all went all out. The most berserk one was Cloud as she charged through the Xuan beasts. Even facing powerful Xuan beasts in the Nether Passage realm, Cloud showed off her savage side, utilizing her devouring divine ability to swallow them. Kill. The old man also shot after the survivors, his heaven splitting blade wiping out masses of them. At this moment, it was possible to see just how powerful the old man was. The heaven-splitting blade had a river of starlight flowing on top of it, and none of the Xuan beasts could stop him. There was nowhere for the Xuan beasts to run. The Martial Heaven Alliance's experts had completely surrounded them. As for the Dragonblood warriors, it wasn't easy for them to slaughter Nether Passage experts, but by joining forces, they were able to do it. 
that was the result of the difference in realms. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, the Xuan beasts had been annihilated. Long Chen announced, Alliance Head, summon the Righteous Path's disciples who are inside the Yin Yang world. We'll meet at the Kanpeng race's ancestral lands. We're going to go first. Long Chen had Cloud bring the Dragonblood warriors speeding away. They're going to. Hu Jinying suddenly thought of a shocking possibility. Chapter 2302 A Big Gift Translator Born to be the Peng race's ancestral lands were between the western Xuan region and the northern Xuan region. It was adjacent to the martial heaven sea ring. As the Peng race liked to live next to water, they were different from the other races. The Kunpeng was the original ancestor of the Peng race. Then there were the Azure Peng, Spirit Peng, Sea Peng, Cloud Peng, and even the most famous Golden Wing Great Peng. They were all descendants of the original Kunpeng. The Kunpeng was legendary for transforming from a Kun to a Peng. Just like how the dragon race transformed from a serpent into a python, into a drake, and then into a dragon. It was said that whether it was the Kunpeng or the dragon, this kind of transformation was in defiance of the heavens. The heavenly deos did not permit it, so they would go all out to destroy them. Whether it was the Kunpeng or the dragon, in this world, their existence was a thing of the past. Any historical records about them were so distant that it was impossible to trace them back to their roots. Aside from legends and stories, there were no official records of a coon transforming into a pang, or a serpent becoming a dragon. That was why these transformations were normally used as stories to encourage and motivate people, making them feel like even a serpent could one day become a dragon if they worked hard enough. Even a fish could one day become a soaring pang breaking free of the restrictions of heaven and earth. Of course, most people felt that these were just fabricated motivational stories. A fish was a fish. A serpent was a serpent. No matter how hard they worked, they would just become a bigger fish or a bigger serpent. Those stories existed only to make someone believe their own lies. However, the pen race had its own sayings. According to them, the only ones capable of this transformation were the Kunpen race. However, in their ideologies, only the original ancestor could be called the Kunpeng. The original ancestor was an existence that had transformed from a Kun into a Peng. Only it was qualified to be called a Kunpeng. For a Kun to transform into a Peng required undergoing countless tribulations against the heavenly Deos. To not be destroyed even after 10,000 tribulations was what transformed the Kun into the Peng. However, on the Martial Heaven continent, there was no such thing as a Kun race, so it was impossible to give birth to a true Kunpeng. In the past, the Kunpeng race had given birth to their greatest genius of their history. That genius had awakened a trace of the ancient Kunpeng's bloodline, becoming the Kunpeng race's strongest expert. He was the Peng Emperor, the Peng race's greatest expert who had once fought against a sovereign of the human race. At this moment, on the border to the sea, there was a glorious statue of the Peng Emperor with a giant sacrificial altar built around it. The towering statue was made of brilliant gold, emitting a majestic pressure. The Peng Emperor's statue was not just a symbol of the Kunpeng race, but it was also a symbol of the entire Xuan beast race. After the Qi flow eruption, the Peng Emperor's sacrificial ceremony was carried out. It was said that the Peng Emperor's will had awakened and blessed the entire Xuan beast race with karmic luck allowing them to grow even stronger. The Kunpeng race's disciples were quickly awakening their bloodlines. In advancing to the Nether Passage realm, the geniuses of the Xuan beasts had been blessed by the Peng Emperor's will. This great blessing had resulted in 80% of the Peng race's disciples successfully advancing to the 12th rank. As for the other races of the Xuan beasts, they mostly maintained a 50-50 pass rate. As a result, the Kunpeng race had grown even stronger. On the other side of the Peng Emperor's statue, there was a giant palace. Peng Wanli was seated within. Below him were the various leaders of the Xuan beasts. Even Long Junkang of the ancient races was present. They were all smiling, as if they were awaiting good news. Reporting to the race leader, something major has occurred with the operation. Master Wan Shen, his, just at this moment. One of the Peng race's experts came flying in, terrified. Peng Wanli had originally been meditating, but his eyes flew open upon hearing something had happened to Peng Wanshan. What happened? 
Master Wanshan, his soul stone, it shattered, impossible. All the experts let out startled cries. Pen Wanshan was someone whose seniority in the Kunpen race was second only to Pen Wanli. He had already touched the border of the Samsara realm. Based on their estimates, he would be able to enter the fourth step of the Nether Passage realm within the next few years. Pen Wanshan had led a portion of their elites in a sneak attack against the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Hence, these experts were waiting for him to return in triumph. However, what had awaited them instead was this grievous news. The soul stone was linked to the true body's soul. When the true body died, the soul stone shattered. It's not just Master Wanshan's soul stone. All the soul stones of the experts who attacked the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race shattered. Cried out that disciple. They all shattered? How is that possible? How could all of them be killed instantly? And why did you only report it now? Roared Pen Wanli his gaze as sharp as blades. That disciple shuddered in terror. He was in charge of the Soul Stone Depository. However, for good or bad, he had a group that he was in command of. He hadn't personally witnessed it. His two subordinates had been left to keep watch. As a result, those two had ended up drinking too much. The sound of a Soul Stone shattering hadn't been loud enough to wake them up from their drunken stupor. Later on, when more of them shattered all at once like firecrackers, they finally woke up. However, when they woke from their dreams, they found themselves in a nightmare. Frightened out of their wits, they had reported it to him. When their leader saw the shattered soul stones belonged to the ones who had attacked the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, he had immediately gone to report to his higher-ups. However, with Pen Wanli glaring at him like this, he was completely terrified. In front of Pen Wanli, he didn't even have the courage to lie. Die, Pen Wanli roared furiously. With the pointing of his finger, that disciple was exterminated. In that instant, he learned what had happened in the Soul Stone Depository. Damn it all, how could this happen? Didn't they say that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was cut off from any powerful reinforcements? It's impossible for them to have drawn over any significant help. Did Pill Valley con us? Demanded Long Jun Kang. This operation was a secret one, with very few people knowing about it. Even amongst the Xuan beasts, only a few core experts knew of it. After all, this type of affair couldn't be stated openly. Although everyone would know who had done it, as long as the Xuan beasts refused to admit it, there would be no direct proof. Who could do anything to them? Even the divine families wouldn't be able to pursue it. Let's go take a look at the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. We'll see who was so brazen as to kill the people of the Xuan beasts. Pen Wanli stood, killing intent surging out of him. Race leader, we cannot. The heavenly divine writ has been extended. If we went over, it would be admitting that we launched the sneak attack despite it, said one of the Xuan beasts. The heavenly divine writ had originally been for half a year, but a month ago. The Divine Families had announced that it was being extended for another three months. With the conflicts between the Martial Heaven Alliance and the others, the Divine Families had no choice but to extend the Sea Sapphire. It was impossible to tell what was happening inside the Yun Yang world. So if the Martial Heaven continent threw itself into chaos, it would be a huge joke. If Pen Wanli charged over to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, that would be publicly going against the heavenly divine writ, which would be going against the divine families. However, if they didn't go, they wouldn't even know who killed their people. How could they accept that? Pen Wanli, I, Long Chen, have come. Shouldn't you get the fuck out and kowtow in greeting? Just at this moment, a powerful voice resounded through the palace. It was like the roar of a god, causing heaven and earth to rumble. Pen Wanli's expression instantly changed. He realized what had happened. Suddenly, the Pen race's ancestral lands shook. The earth was torn apart, with countless buildings collapsing. Pen Wanli and the others flew out of the palace, only to see a black-robed figure standing atop the Pen Emperor's statue. His hair and robes billowed around him as his killing intent raged. Long Chen, Pen Wanli's pupils shrank. Long Chen stamped a foot on the Pen Emperor's statue. His goal had been to destroy the head, but he found that rather than destroying the statue, it was his own foot that was almost injured. 
there was some kind of boundless energy within the statue. Long Chen, you dare to blaspheme the Peng Emperor. Get the hell down, shouted the other experts of the Kunpeng race. Who cares about the Peng Emperor? Is he worth me blaspheming? You've overestimated the worth of the Xuan beasts, sneered Long Chen. The statue of the Peng Emperor depicted a Kunpeng spreading its wings, its head raised toward the heavens as if it wished to charge through them. Killing intent and rage filled Long Chen. If it weren't for Meng Chi and the other women, he really would want to pee all over the Peng Emperor's head with his brothers. Thinking of the corpses of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, he was overwhelmed by his urge to kill the Xuan beasts. If he didn't kill them all, those warriors of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race wouldn't be able to rest in peace. Long Chen, tell me, were you the one who killed our people? demanded Peng Wanli. At the same time, he gave a stealthy order to activate the Grand Formation. No, answered Long Chen. If it wasn't you, then who was it? I didn't kill people. I only killed a pack of animals, was Long Chen's cold reply. Long Chen, you've gone against the heavenly divine writ and now you wish to publicly provoke the Xuan beasts? You want to start a war amongst the martial heaven continent? Just what are you intending idiot? Your stall tactics are childish in my eyes. Did you think your formation would be able to kill me here? Keep fucking dreaming. Novaloon.com just at this moment. The dragonblood warriors that had been concealed in their own formation came out from behind the statue of the Peng Emperor. All of their auras were fluctuating intensely. They had reached the limit of their current realm. Not good. Seeing their current state, Peng Wanli and the other experts' expressions changed. Peng Wanli. I've received your gift. Now I'll send you a bigger one. One aura after another exploded past its limits. The sunny sky instantly turned dark. An aura of annihilation filled the air. Chapter 2303 Too young, too immature translator, born to be the void exploded, unleashing waves of heavenly pressure. The dragonblood warriors had broken the final barrier to summon their heavenly tribulations. After passing, they would be true nether passage experts in control of life and death energy. Looking at the tribulation clouds in the sky, the Xuan beasts completely panicked. They retreated. When the heavenly tribulation descended, if they were within its scope, it would be viewed as a disturbance by the heavenly tribulation. So they would also be attacked. The dragonblood legion was undergoing a collective tribulation. Hence, the heavenly might condensing in the sky was awe-inspiring and horrifying at the same time. Long Chen, you dare to undergo tribulation in my Peng race's ancestral lands. Is this a declaration of war against the Xuan beasts? Shouted Peng Wanli. He was also shocked that Long Chen would dare to do such a thing. Long Chen sneered. There is nothing in this world that I don't dare to do. Long Chen, you've gone against the heavenly divine writ. You're ignoring the prestige of the divine families and are causing the continent to descend into anarchy. You will be hunted down and slaughtered by the divine families shouted Long Jun Kang. Great leader of the ancient races, I've known you for many years, but I have yet to see your abilities aside from eating dog sh tea. You want to use the heavenly divine writ to threaten me? Well, I'm not threatened. If others don't offend me, I won't offend them. If others offend me, I'll endure a little. If they offend me some more, I'll pull them up by the roots. Since the Kunpeng race is the leader of the Xuan beasts, do you think you're badass enough to do anything you want? All right, then I, Long Chen, will make the Kunpeng race pay the appropriate price for your foolishness. Long Chen's voice resounded even through the thunder. Lightning poured down from the sky. The lightning crashed down like giant shooting stars, blowing apart the ancestral lands of the Kunpeng race. Activate the grand formation to block the lightning, shouted Peng Wanli. A translucent barrier appeared over the ancestral lands. Only the Peng Emperor's statue was left outside. The lightning crashing down slid away from the barrier. Long Jun Kang sneered. Long Chen, do you think everyone else is stupid? After you used heavenly tribulation to destroy heavenly fate island and the Xuan beast's headquarters, did you think that we wouldn't set up defenses? This grand formation was set up by a formation grand master of the ancient family alliance, and it is able to screen off the power of heavenly tribulation. To try using the same trick twice only indicates that you're a child. Long Chen, you and your dragonblood legion are all fools. 
Did you really think such a little ploy could threaten us? Shouted one of the pen races experts protected by the grand formation. What? Don't like it? Then come at me. He wants to bait you in. Once you get closer to the formation, its killing mechanisms will activate, said Xia Chen. Too childish. Too immature. Long Chen shook his head disdainfully at the arrogant expert of the pen race. Long Chen, you aren't even a man. If you were a man, you'd come to challenge me in a one against one. Since you're not a man, bring me your women. I'll treat them properly. The pen race's experts mocking suddenly took on a lecherous tone, causing Long Chen's expression to sink. Since you want to die so badly, fine. Long Chen suddenly slashed his saber. The tribulation clouds in the sky were cut in half. The void exploded as the rage of the heavens descended. Long Chen's attack had provoked the heavenly tribulation to a new level. Gigantic lightning swords pierced down toward the earth. The lightning instantly grew several times stronger. Even the dragon blood warriors clenched their teeth from the pain. The rate at which they were progressing through the tribulation was too quick. Unlike past tribulations where they always had time to adjust to new levels. The grand formation rumbled, but it still endured the lightning swords. There were no signs of it breaking. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're trash. You don't even have the courage to come kill me. Yet you claim to be a peerless expert? You claim the Dragonblood Legion to be number one? You should just call yourselves the Turtle Legion since you're all cowards. The expert within the barrier grew even more arrogant. Long Chen's expression didn't change. While the Dragonblood warriors simply looked at that expert coldly. However, there seemed to be a trace of ridicule in their eyes as well as the slightest trace of pity. Xia Chen took out a small formation disc and tossed it out. The formation disc landed on the grand formation and exploded. However, the grand formation remained unaffected. The experts inside the barrier became even more pleased. Their curses and taunts grew even more unbearable. Just as those taunts rang out, on the spot where the formation disc had exploded, a single rune slowly lit up. That rune had been branded onto the Grand Formation. Cracks spread throughout the Grand Formation, reaching every corner of it. The experts inside it instantly shut their mouths, growing uneasy. However, their arrogance quickly returned because the rune that had caused the cracks now faded away. Boss, their crimes are unforgivable. They did this to themselves, so they can't blame anyone else. Xia Chen shook his head and sighed. Long Chen nodded. A slightly complicated expression appeared deep within his eyes. Was a person's foolishness really without limit? At this moment, cracking sounds rang throughout the formation. The cursing from the pen race's experts quieted. What's going on? Investigate it. Everything about the formation is running normally. The runes are all intact. And there are no problems with the 360 formation discs. More and more cracks appeared. Growing thicker and thicker. Then how is this happening did he really some of them looked at Xia Chen with horror. Xia Chen was looking back at them expressionlessly. That look gave them chills. They were naturally aware that Xia Chen was a formation master. But the person that they had invited to set up this formation had claimed himself to be a grand master amongst grand masters. Someone unrivaled on the path of formations. At that time. He had sworn that this formation of his could not be broken by Xia Chen even if the latter was given 10 years. The Kunpen race had also appraised the formation and truly found it to be powerful. If its full power was unleashed, then a fourth step nether passage expert could be killed if caught off guard. That was why they were so confident in this formation. After all, they had set it up specifically to prevent Long Chen from causing destruction if he underwent his tribulation here. However, the reality they were seeing flabbergasted them. Xia Chen had simply tossed out a formation disc and done nothing else. They were unable to even find what the problem was. But the formation was breaking. The formation began to totter. And the giant lightning swords continued to strike it. The buildings within the barrier were trembling. Quick. Run. This place won't last much longer. The experts inside fled in a panic. They rushed toward the giant transportation formation at the center. Countless experts also came flying out of the buildings. They had felt that this place was the safest since it was protected by the formation. Inside it, not only could they witness the lightning tribulation up close, 
but they would also be able to see Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion die. When the people outside had been cursing him, they had joined in as well. Another reason they stayed behind was to show Long Chen that the Kunpeng race felt him to be beneath them. It was to antagonize him into coming closer and being instantly killed by the formation. However, Long Chen hadn't fallen for it. Instead, Xia Chen had made a single move to ruin everything. The transportation formation isn't working, shouted one of the Peng race's disciples. The underground transportation formation is also not working. How can that be? They're separate from the protective formation. The experts in charge of the formations roared furiously. They had no idea what was going on. Seeing the cracks in the formation growing ever larger and more numerous, they were filled with horror and despair. Race leader, save us. Please began to ring out toward Pen Wanli. Pen Wanli and the others were also panicking. The Pen race's territory was protected by three main formations and seven secondary formations. They were set up to prevent worst-case scenarios, to handle anything that could possibly happen. They had left a portion of their people behind as bait for Long Chen. But now that the formation was being broken, Pen Wanli was also afraid. Although the ones inside the formation were not their elites, they were half their members. The Kunpeng race didn't have that many members. If half of them died, it would definitely cause a big problem for their future reproduction. Long Chen, release my people, or I, Kun Pengzi, will slaughter everyone beside you. Just at this moment, a voice full of killing intent rang out. A large group rushed over. Chapter 2304 Who cares about you? Translator. Born to be Kun Pengzi was rushing over with an army of hundreds of thousands of Xuan beasts. This giant army's furious killing intent could be sensed even before they arrived. Kun Pengzi had led the Xuan Beast's junior generation over. However, the others also came, including those from Pill Valley, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, and the Ancient Family Alliance. These people had all rushed from their campaign against the Blood Race when they had heard that Long Chen was assaulting the Kunpeng Race. All the experts from there had rushed over. Now. Only the seventh heavenly dragon Legion remained to guard the entrance to the Yun Yang world. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is still alive. Every warrior of the Dragonblood Legion is here. They all survived. Haha, <laughs> with senior apprentice brother Long Chen back, we don't need to keep getting pissed off by those idiots. The Martial Heaven Alliance's warriors clenched their fists excitedly upon seeing Long Chen standing on the statue of the Peng Emperor. Immersed in lightning along with the Dragonblood warriors, Yi Lingxian also grew emotional upon seeing that familiar figure. These days had been hard on her, and someone she could rely on had finally appeared. I told you, right? Bad people don't die so easily. That fellow has already reached an unparalleled realm in that regard, so he couldn't possibly die. Bidang Rushuang smiled and stretched her waist with a pleased expression, revealing her curves. Beside her, Nangong Zuiyu also smiled. Long Chen's return was a great thing for them. After all, they were allies. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang had both chosen to stand beside the Martial Heaven Alliance. As for their respective families, they had not stated anything explicitly and were still watching. Other than the Nangong and Bidang families, another powerful figure stood beside the Martial Heaven Alliance. That was the Zither Fairy, Zi Yan. The elusive music Immortal Palace had also not expressed its attitude, neither going against nor supporting Zi Yan's decision. Other than Zi Yan, their disciples all remained neutral. Zi Yan also sighed in relief upon seeing Long Chen's return. She had been worried with him being gone for so long. The pill fairy remained expressionless. Some faint fluctuations appeared deep within her eyes, but that was all. Her aura had grown even more reserved and profound. God energy surged within her, making her seem impenetrable. Tian Zizi was wrapped in black runes. The evil air around him had grown noticeably denser, to the point that even the other disciples of the corrupt path didn't dare to get close to him. The pill fairy, Tian Zizi, and Kun Pengzi had all arrived flying on their own. Only one person came in a resplendent and extravagant carriage. This person was the one who had awakened a double manifestation. The strongest expert of the ancient family alliance, Di Feng. Di Feng wore golden imperial robes with a golden crown on his head and a golden belt around his waist. 
Lavishness radiated out of him. He looked like an emperor out for a stroll. Ever since Di Feng had awakened a double manifestation, he had grown more arrogant. Although he wasn't a divine daughter or divine son, he seemed to find even them insignificant. In fact, he had actually chased Dong Fang Yuyang from the Yin Yang world, injuring him in one blow. Due to some issues, Di Feng had almost started fighting Kun Pengzi. If it hadn't been for a warning from the divine families, they really would have started fighting. Di Feng had clearly become overbearing. He had been suppressed and endured so much over the years that this sudden release made him uncontrollable. Standing on top of his carriage, Di Feng looked coldly at Long Chen. With his arms clasped behind him, his mouth gradually curled into a look of contempt. As for Dong Fang Yuyang, he had declined to the point that he was standing amongst the crowd, seemingly insignificant. Zeman Shiangsheng of the Zeman family, as well as Hu Feng of the Heavenly Gambling Dao, were all present. All the big faces of the various powers had come. The Martial Heaven Continent senior and junior experts were all here because they knew that something big was about to go down today. The sound of thunder had reached them from far in the distance, and they had seen waves of berserk lightning falling from the heavens. Long Chen seemed intent on fighting the Kunpeng race to the death. By undergoing tribulation here, the foundation that the Kunpeng race had built and accumulated over countless years would be destroyed. This would lay down an undying enmity. There were also countless experts of the Xuan beasts trapped within the barrier that was being pounded by the lightning. They couldn't escape. Everyone knew about how the Xuan beasts had targeted the Martial Heaven Alliance during this time. The fact that the Zhuangshan Dao sect's core disciple, Wang Zhen, had been killed by the Peng race's experts had almost resulted in a war between the two sides. Even though the divine families had settled things, the enmity could not be erased. Once such hatred ignited from the slightest spark, the resulting explosion could not be controlled. However, no one had expected it to come so quickly, and be so violent. Kun Pengzi pointed his lightning halberd at Long Chen, killing intent surging within his eyes. Kill the people beside me? Let's see who kills who first. Long Chen sneered. Even at this time, Kun Pengzi continued to threaten him. Save us, young master. The Xuan beasts trapped inside the formation shouted at Kun Pengzi, begging to be saved. If no one intervened, they would all be wiped out by the lightning when the formation broke. People like them weren't strong enough to endure this lightning. They would only be able to last a few seconds before dying, and that would not be enough time to escape. Kun Pengzi wished to save them, but he couldn't. If he, an outsider, went in, it would only cause the tribulation to grow more intense then the people inside would die even faster. There was no way he could save them all. Long Chen, I'll give you one last chance. Leave the Kunpeng race's ancestral land, or I, Kun Pengzi, swear that I will kill everyone you care about and make you live a life worse than death. At this time, even the people from Pill Valley and the other powers knew just how stupid Kun Pengzi's threats were. Long Chen was famous for his temper and how he responded to threats. Kun Pengzi was just throwing oil on the fire. Was he trying to save his people or kill them? Even Peng Wanli had a bad feeling. After advancing to the Nether Passage realm, Kun Pengzi had grown even more arrogant, refusing to listen to anyone's advice, even his. As expected by everyone except Kun Pengzi, Long Chen suddenly smiled very sinisterly. He didn't reply though. At this moment, the barrier looked to be on the verge of collapsing. It shuddered making the experts inside wail with terror. In the face of death, their arrogance, their honor, wasn't worth a single copper coin. Some of them were even kneeling on the ground, begging Long Chen for leniency. That caused Peng Wanli and Kun Pengzi's expressions to change. They had an urge to kill those people that had lost the face of the Kunpeng race. Long Chen didn't move, not provoking the lightning further. He simply continued standing atop the statue of the Peng Emperor watching those disciples cry. In his eyes, these people weren't worthy of pity. The same perverse and tyrannical blood flowed within their bodies. They enjoyed controlling other people's fates, believing others to be beneath them. The Peng race viewed not only the human race that way but also the other Xuan beasts. They didn't just want to be the rulers of the Xuan beasts. They wished to be the rulers of all races. Before the tribulation had descended, 
Long Chen had given them time to run. If they had run at that time, they would be outside the heavenly tribulation now. Unfortunately, the ones who remained had ignored him, staying behind to antagonize him and bait him in. They couldn't blame him since they had chosen not to run. Long Chen. Kun Pengzi gnashed his teeth but didn't move. Unless he wanted all those people to die, he couldn't charge into the tribulation. Long Chen. As the representative of the divine families, I command you to immediately leave the Kunpeng race's ancestral land. Otherwise, you will be viewed as an enemy of the divine families just at this moment. A voice that Long Chen detested immensely rang out. A group of experts came rushing over. The heavenly dragon Legion, Yi Ben Chang. The seventh commander Yi Ben Chang had come while leading his 10,000 warriors. Who do you think you are to represent the divine families? Even if you could represent them. So what? Not even a god could change what I've decided on. Who the fuck cares about you? Long Chen felt such hatred for Yi Ben Chang that he saw red. Last time. When he had snuck into the Yin Yang world with Dong Mingyu, Yi Ben Chang had ambushed them and almost taken his life. Do you realize just how insignificant your power is in front of the divine families? By going against them, you are dooming yourselves to death. Let me tell you, I really want to kill you, so don't give me an excuse to, shouted Yi Ben Chang. If Long Chen still didn't leave, Yi Ben Chang would have enough of a reason to use the divine family's power to kill him. Come, let me see just how much ability you really have. Long Chen continued not to make a move. Just at this moment, the grand formation shattered. The huge lightning swords mercilessly pierced toward the Xuan beasts within it. Chapter 2305 Annihilating the Disciples of the Kunpeng Race Translator Born to be the lightning swords were merciless. The experts that had been hiding in the barrier fled into the central palace. The palace was their last defense. It was just barely able to survive the assault of the lightning, but the resplendent palace was quickly starting to dim. The Kunpeng race's disciples were clutching at this final lifeline, but it wouldn't last much longer either. Other than the palace, the other buildings were destroyed in just a few seconds. Seeing that, Peng Wanli's eyes turned red. Many of those buildings were ancient constructions of incalculable value. They were symbols of the Kunpeng race's glory. Long Chen. Don't force me to enter the heavenly tribulation and kill you, shouted Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi possessed a high affinity for lightning and was blessed with lightning divine abilities. Perhaps he really possessed the ability to charge into the lightning, but people were wondering why he would still be holding back if that was true. Why was he waiting for those disciples to die first? Force you, Long Chen sneered. Am I the one forcing you, or are you the one forcing me? While I was away in the netherworld, you've gotten very arrogant Long Chen could not contain his fury. The Kunpeng race, or perhaps most of the Xuan beast races, had giant egos. They only allowed themselves to bully others, but if the roles were reversed, the other side would be heinous. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to try arguing with them any longer. Long Chen, don't involve others. If you wish to, you can simply challenge me to a fight. By bullying these weak people. You aren't proving anything, shouted Kun Pengzi. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Even with the lightning and thunder, everyone heard the rage, contempt, and killing intent within his voice. To struggle and fight is inherent to the Tao. But then you should have come at me directly instead of targeting the people beside me. You were the ones who sneak attacked the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race while I was attacking the Nether Passage realm. If I had returned one step later, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would have been wiped out. Now you want to spout such hypocritical words at me? Kun Pengzi, are you sure your head isn't full of shit? I'll tell you the truth. Today, I've decided to destroy the Kunpeng race's territory and use your blood as a tribute to the fallen warriors you killed. If anyone tries to stop me, well, they can just try. Long Chen, it seems that you really wish to die. No one can help you anymore Yi Ben Chang suppressed a smile. He was very satisfied with Long Chen's actions today. There's no need for you to help me. You should worry about yourself. Wash your neck because someone's saber is about to cut it off. Responded Long Chen Novaloon.com Long Chen had long since had an urge to kill Yi Ben Chang. The waters of the divine families were very deep. For some reason, 
Yi Benchang had wanted to kill him from the start, but he had never found an appropriate excuse to do so. Last time, he had tried to ambush Long Chen but had just narrowly missed out on killing him. This time, he had new hope. He finally had an above-board reason for executing him. Long Chen saw that clearly, but he was fearless. In the past, he hadn't been able to fight back because of the difference in realms. Now though, he was about to be a nether passage expert. Boom. Yi Benchang's expression sank. But before he could reply, more lightning swords crashed down. The palace finally exploded. Just at that moment, a figure charged through the lightning. A lightning halberd swung through the air at Long Chen. Evil Moon met Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd. Long Chen felt a powerful surge of energy that forced him back several steps. When he stabilized, he suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. What this result stunned people. Long Chen was actually unable to receive a single blow from Kun Pengzi without being injured. However, when they thought about it, they realized that this was natural. Long Chen was currently undergoing his tribulation and was not a true nether passage expert yet. He couldn't control life and death energy. He was fighting Kun Pengzi across realms. So he was naturally at an immense disadvantage. The difference between two realms is immense. Long Chen could kill ordinary nether passage experts before, but against geniuses on the same level as him, a difference in realms is like a heavenly chasm. Side someone. Even if their combat power had been even, Kun Pengzi had now advanced to the Nether Passage realm while Long Chen was only in the Great Circle of Life Star. He might only be missing his tribulation, but there was an immense difference. Long Chen, I'll make sure you have a taste of every pain in the world before dying, shouted Kun Pengzi. However, he didn't charge at Long Chen but went for the disciples of the Kunpeng race down below instead. The void shuddered. A screen of lightning appeared out of Kun Pengzi's left hand, protecting those people. The lightning screen was unable to completely block the tribulation lightning, but it did block a portion of it. There was no way around that. As Kun Pengzi was forced to be careful within this tribulation, he couldn't show an explicit intent to defy the heavens, or it would draw even stronger lightning. Then there would be no way he could protect these disciples. Even with his protection, a portion of those disciples was unable to endure the tribulation and exploded. Only the stronger ones were able to endure. This was the collective tribulation of the Dragonblood Warriors, and Long Chen had even attacked it to further antagonize it. Its power had reached a shocking level. Even the Dragonblood Warriors found it taxing to endure it, let alone those ordinary disciples of the Kunpeng race. Those disciples died filled with despair, infuriating Kun Pengzi. But there was nothing he could do. He had to do his best to maintain a subtle balance. If he weakened his power, it would cause more disciples to die. If he went any stronger, the heavenly tribulation would view it as rebellion and strengthen the lightning. Then not one of these disciples would survive. Long Chen, you trash. You only know how to attack the innocent. Just wait, roared Kun Pengzi. He slowly moved the lightning screen, bringing these disciples away. Half the disciples inside had died, and more were dying with every passing moment. Kun Pengzi had to bring them away as soon as possible. However, all his moves inside the tribulation had to be careful, slowing him down and resulting in more deaths. In the distance, K. Yushu sneered. Innocent? Why does that sound so laughable from the mouth of the Kunpeng race? The Kunpeng race and the Nine Heavens Phoenix race made up a ridiculous excuse to hunt down my cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race for countless years now. Do you know how many of our ancestors have died to your butcher's blade? Even babies weren't let off. You killed them with sinister smiles. Did you ever think that they were innocent? Although the history between the Kunpeng race and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was not well known by outsiders. The rise of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had resulted in some of it coming to light. However, the Kunpeng race refused to admit to their story. Shut your slut mouth. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race is a traitor to the Xuan beasts. You aren't qualified to talk, shouted Kun Pengzi. You're the one who should shut up. Focus on your work. I should also get to work. Long Chen suddenly unleashed another attack at the tribulation clouds. The tribulation grew even more intense. Now, 
It wasn't just lightning swords but also lightning hammers, lightning spears, and lightning axes. All kinds of lightning divine weapons crashed down, filling the world with the aura of annihilation. With the lightning growing twice as berserk, Kun Penzi's expression changed. Long Chen, you are courting death. No, save us. I don't want to die. Long Chen didn't say anything back. The reply was the sounds of despair and bodies exploding. Heavenly tribulation was merciless. Kun Penzi's lightning screen could block part of the lightning, but that portion was growing smaller and smaller. The disciples were unable to endure it any longer. Their cries right before death drove Kun Penzi crazy, but there was nothing he could do. There was no pity on the faces of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow races experts. The enmity between them and the Kunpen race was such that the two could not exist beneath the same sky. After being hunted for tens of thousands of years, the bones of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows that had been killed by them were enough to fill the land of the central plains. The enmity and hatred between the two sides could only be washed away with blood and lives. As they watched the Kunpen race's disciples die, they cheered excitedly, sating their desire for vengeance. The tens of thousands of Kunpen race's experts that had originally been within the formation were now down to less than 8,000. Furthermore, those people were still continuing to die, unable to endure the lightning even with Kun Penzi's help. However, it had to be said that Kun Penzi was truly powerful. Lightning flowed out of him as he brought them out of the tribulation. Once they reached the outer edges, they would be saved. Long Chen and the others were at the core of the tribulation. If they wanted to charge over, they would be blocked by layers of lightning. They were helpless. When the Kunpen race's experts were about to reach the outer region, they were down to less than 3,000 people. Long Chen, you cowardly bastard, you won't have a good death. Seeing that they were about to escape their predicament, the disciples began to curse at Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly smiled. Do you know what despair is? It is seeing hope right in front of you and being unable to grasp it. Suddenly, a cracking sound came from inside Long Chen's body. It was like something had broken. Kun Pengzi's expression instantly changed. Chapter 2306 Lightning Spirit Body Translator Born to be a cracking sound came from within Long Chen's body, and the tribulation clouds rumbled intensely. A terrifying pressure grew, as if a slumbering ancient beast had been awakened. The tribulation cloud suddenly spread far beyond their original scope. At the same time, the violet lightning changed color. There was now, red, yellow, green, azure, and blue added onto the violet lightning, a total of six colors. So it was just the Dragonblood Warriors' tribulation before, while Long Chen was simply standing amongst them. Now Long Chen is also undergoing his tribulation however, as soon as this person said that, he found that it didn't make sense. If someone interfered with someone else's tribulation, the heavenly tribulation would settle things with them first. He had already attacked the tribulation clouds more than once. How was it that his tribulation only descended now? Heavens, how could there be six color lightning? Isn't the highest level five colors? I've never heard of six color lightning. People had no time to consider the first question, because the six color lightning was far more shocking. Six color lightning is clearly divine lightning based on this pressure. Why is Long Chen's tribulation so terrifying cried out an old expert of the human race. Back when the pill fairy, Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Di Fang, and the other top geniuses underwent their tribulation, they locked down the surroundings and concealed themselves with the formation, but from a distance, it was possible to tell that the final level of the tribulation was five-color divine lightning, however, that only appeared in the end. How could Long Chen's tribulation start with six-color divine lightning? Just what kind of level will it reach in the end? Analyzed one person. The most inexplicable thing is that five-color lightning represents the five elements. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. What does the six-color lightning represent? The six-color lightning flickering within the sky had surpassed everyone's understanding. Such a thing had never occurred even in stories and legends. Kun Pengzi's expression changed when he saw the six-color lightning. He shouted, Run! There was no time for him to let these people away. He dispersed his lightning screen, having them run for their lives. 
it would be up to who was lucky enough. Those disciples of the Kanpen race fled for their lives. They had barely started when some of them were killed by the lightning. Although the six-color lightning had yet to reach this region, they were still within the scope of the heavenly tribulation. Thousands of them fled. Some of them were disoriented by the lightning and ended up going backward. Either way, the lightning cut them down rapidly. In the end, only 80-some people managed to reach the edge of the tribulation. At the edge, the power of the lightning was weak enough that there was no threat to their lives. However, they didn't have a chance to relax. The six-color lightning was extending from the core region to where they were. They continued to flee for their lives. Regretfully, they were too slow. The six-color lightning got closer and closer. Novaloon.com No, those disciples' cries were drowned out by thunder and lightning. It wasn't even possible to see their bodies explode as they were enveloped by lightning. Within the six-color lightning, their deaths didn't make the slightest sound. A sea of divine lightning which buries the sky. Is this the legendary lightning sea buries the heavens? Someone suddenly let out a startled cry as he recalled a certain legend. The area of the tribulation was filled with surging lightning. It wasn't even possible to see lightning falling from the sky. It was simply a violent sea of lightning engulfing the world. The Kunpen race's ancestral lands had long since vanished. The only surviving building was the Peng Emperor's statue. It continued to remain standing even within the lightning. This lightning sea is practically a domain of death. This is no tribulation. This is heavenly punishment. It doesn't leave anyone a chance to live. Cried Bao Buping. Even he felt that things were wrong. This lightning was filled with the will of annihilation. Completely different from the previous lightning. There wasn't the slightest hope for life. The continent's experts, including Yi Ben Chang, were all appalled. This terrifying heavenly tribulation was too shocking. Only Li Xiangxuan remained calm. He sighed. As Long Chen grew, the signs that Long Chen was a heaven defier grew clearer. Although he was calm, he was filled with worry for Long Chen. The ultimate fate of a heaven defier was to die to the heavenly deos. Would Long Chen be able to pass this tribulation? This was just the first wave. Kun Pengzi is still within the lightning. A startled cry rang out. Through the sea of lightning, they saw Kun Pengzi standing there, immersed in the lightning with a murderous expression. The sea of lightning raged and rumbling sounds rang out from the void. Long Chen continued to stand atop the Peng Emperor's statue, his hands clasped behind his back. He didn't even look at the wild lightning. Instead, he was indifferently looking at Kun Pengzi. Long Chen didn't care about the six-color divine lightning. However, the dragonblood warriors weren't quite able to endure it. The destructive power of the lightning was wrecking their bodies. Guo Ran was the first to be unable to endure. He put on his armor. That wasn't him being lazy. He truly couldn't continue without it. Any more and he would die. Xia Chen was the second to be unable to endure. He put on his soft armor, blocking the lightning. The others still bitterly endured. The divine lightning cleansing their bodies was painful. But as dragon blood warriors, they endured. They had to endure. This was not just a cleansing of their physical bodies, but a tempering of their wills as well. Long Chen. You killed my people. Today, I'll kill every one of your people one by one. The cycle of karma will get you your comeuppance. Kun Pengzi suddenly began to walk through the lightning tribulation toward Long Chen. If your Kunpeng race believes in the cycle of karma, you shouldn't have done what you did at the start. Today is your comeuppance. Long Chen formed hand seals, and a dragon row rang out over the thunder. Lai Long appeared, circling in the air. At the same time, the void split open, creating a giant lightning channel. That lightning channel linked to a different world. A new sea of lightning burst out of it, creating a new lightning domain within the tribulation. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you finally have the conscience to send me a big gift. From the other world, the Silver Drake King's wild laughter rang out. This surging divine lightning was entering its domain. That was a great surprise to it. You've helped me out many times now. Did you think that I would forget? Long Chen smiled slightly. He then turned to Gu Yang and the others. You can absorb the lightning domain's lightning. Long Chen knew that his tribulation was too powerful, as it contained the world's will of annihilation. This lightning would harm their foundations, and that was why he didn't normally undergo his tribulations with them. 
The lightning from the lightning domain would erase the will of the tribulation lightning when it passed through, weakening its harmful nature. The dragon blood warriors could absorb it then. If they were still unable to do so, then the silver drake king would help them. Gu Yang and the others entered the lightning domain and vanished. Within the giant sea of lightning, the only ones remaining were Long Chen and Kun Pengzi. Did you think hiding them in a turtle shell would make them safe? Kun Pengzi sneered and suddenly also charged into the lightning channel. Long Chen didn't stop him. A contemptuous smile appeared on his face. Fuck off. Kun Pengzi had just charged in when the Silver Drake King's row rang out from inside. Following that, Kun Pengzi flew out like a shooting star, hacking up blood. Kun Pengzi flew so far that he escaped the tribulation's range and even continued beyond that, disappearing over the horizon. For a moment, people could only stare in dumbfounded silence. Just what had happened for someone as powerful as Kun Pengzi to be tossed out like trash? After a moment, Kun Pengzi came flying back, furious. He was still covered in blood stains. Just now, he had met a giant claw that sent him flying. He had known about the Silver Drake King's power before, but after advancing to the Nether Passage realm, he had been confident in fighting against it. Even if he couldn't beat it, he wouldn't lose. However, he found that the Silver Drake King's power far surpassed his expectations. Just one blow had sent him flying. When Kun Pengzi came flying back, Long Chen gestured to him, welcoming him to keep trying. He wouldn't stop him. Long Chen knew that the Silver Drake King was the ruler of that domain, that was its territory, and it was king. Without the restrictions of the Martial Heaven Continent's laws, it could unleash its full power. His contemptuous look made Kun Pengzi's expression sink. When Long Chen gestured again as if telling him to hurry up, he grew even more infuriated. He had guessed the reason behind the Drake King's power based on the clues, but he had declared that he would kill everyone in the Dragonblood Legion. Now, he was caught in an extremely embarrassing state. His promise ended up becoming a slap to his own face. As expected of a coward, you only know how to rely on outside power. Since that's the case, I'll kill you first before taking your head with me to kill the others. Kun Pengzi switched targets, unleashing a powerful attack straight at Long Chen. Lightning wings spread on Long Chen's wings. He avoided Kun Pengzi's attack and indifferently said, since you're in such a rush to kill me, I'll give you your chance. I'll quicken the pace of the heavenly tribulation so that you don't need to have any doubt over the result. Long Chen suddenly charged into the sky and repeatedly swung Evil Moon, tearing through the tribulation clouds nine times in total. Chapter 2307 Six Dao Divine Lightning Translator Born to Benevaloon.com The world became silent like time was standing still. Everyone saw a giant hole in the tribulation clouds. It was like a gaping maw facing the world below. What is senior apprentice brother Long Chen doing? Cried a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Wasn't constantly attacking the tribulation asking to be killed? Everyone stared in shock. Long Chen actually dared to be so arrogant during his Nether Passage tribulation? Due to how powerful Nether Passage experts were, they were easily sensed by the heavenly deos and their lightning tribulation would be even more dangerous. That was why Nether Passage experts were especially obedient during their tribulations. They didn't dare to show any disrespect to the heavenly deos for fear that the heavenly tribulation would become heavenly punishment. The tribulation clouds remained in their pierced state for three breaths time. After that, an invisible heavenly might gathered. Suddenly, lightning blasted out of the hole that Long Chen had created. A terrifying lightning net weaved itself into existence there. The pressure of the tribulation grew and the ground began to sink. In the distance, the martial heaven sea ring raged like it was boiling. The earth quaked and the sea raged. This was a sign of the apocalypse. The experts watching hastily fled to an even greater distance. The heavenly deos had been enraged by Long Chen and would unleash their full fury. If they didn't get further away, they might easily be killed as well. You want to drag me down with you? Long Chen, you really are a child. Kun Pengzi sneered. His own lightning flickered around him. I have a lightning spirit body. Powerful thunder force only nourishes my body, making me stronger. Due to how much you're helping me out, I don't mind letting you live for a few more hours. 
Kun Pengzi didn't immediately launch his attack. Holding his lightning halberd, he continued to stand within the heavenly tribulation, facing Long Chen without any fear. Boom. Suddenly, the tribulation clouds exploded. The black tribulation clouds which had turned the world dark vanished, replaced by multicolored lightning. The multicolored lightning illuminated the world. It held a bewitching beauty, but within that enchanting light was an air of boundless death. In the next moment, a waterfall of lightning crashed down on Long Chen and Kun Pengzi. The earth shuddered and exploded. Distant mountain ranges split apart. The entire martial heaven continent shuddered. The wild lightning collapsed upon Long Chen and Kun Pengzi. Then it raged outward, shooting in every direction, terrifying the experts watching into fleeing even further. However, the lightning stopped at a range of 10,000 miles, instead charging back into the sky. A giant loop of lightning formed. Ha ha ha. Amazing. This is six Tao Divine Lightning. After being stifled for hundreds of thousands of years, I've caught this wave. The Drake King's excited roar came from the other side of the channel. It recognized this lightning. The lightning poured into the channel as a powerful current, and the Dragon Blood Warriors stood within that current. Some of them were tottering and stumbling back. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu. Dong Mingyu, and the healing warriors were blown back by the current. This current didn't just contain powerful lightning but also the will of divine punishment. Rather than the damage to the body, the damage to the soul was much worse. Wanur, don't fight back. Our bodies can't endure it. Meng Chi held back Tang Wanur from charging back in against the flow of the current. She's right. This lightning current isn't something our physical bodies can endure, even if our wills can. There's no point in forcing it, said Chu Yao. We'll stay at the edge of the current and just absorb as much as we can. There's no need to fight against the current. Meng Chi brought her group to the edge of the main current. Just at that moment, the Drake King said, Here, come on to my body. I'll block the destructive will so it should be easier to absorb. The Silver Drake King and the other life forms of the lightning domain were like fish swimming within the current of lightning. They absorbed it like a river taking in rain after a drought. The Silver Drake King stood before the Dragon Blood Warriors, devouring the lightning current. The other lightning drakes could only absorb the leftovers. Meng Chi and the others were delighted. They were standing on the Silver Drake King's back, and lightning shot out of it and enveloped them. The Silver Drake King sent a portion of the lightning to them. After being purified by it, the lightning had become gentler. Even their weaker physical bodies were able to freely absorb it. Just at this moment, a figure came flying over. Tang Wanner's lips curled. Guo Ran, why are you coming over? Guo Ran arrived just as Meng Chi and the others found a good place for themselves. This place is very dangerous. I'll protect you. Don't worry, I, Guo Ran, guarantee to protect you even in death. How shameless Tang Wanner rolled her eyes. Many thanks for your praise. It's all thanks to boss's guidance. Guo Ran snickered, beginning to absorb the lightning with his thick skin. Guo Ran, you traitor. Can you show some maturity? Look at Xia Chen and Zifeng. They're still enduring. While you ran away, how will you be able to face your brothers in the future? Demanded Gu Yang. I walk a different path than everyone else. I'm not supposed to raise my will and physical body. Otherwise, back in the netherworld. I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Thus, you shouldn't compare different people. You continue with your path, and I'll continue on mine, said Guo Ran righteously. There was no way for anyone to retort to that. After all, his lack of willpower had once saved all their lives. There was nothing they could say in the face of that laziness. Don't talk. Focus on absorbing the energy of the six Deos. This is an important chance for you humans, said the Drake King. Everyone shut their mouths. They focused on absorbing the lightning while also resisting its impact. The six-color lightning was constantly wrecking their physical bodies and tearing at their souls. And despite that, they had to pull it into their bodies and absorb it. That was torture. Every dragon blood warrior was confident in one thing after being with Long Chen for so long. The more that they could endure, the greater it would benefit them. Every little bit they absorbed would strengthen their bodies and souls. They would only get one chance at this, so they had to push themselves to their limits. Finally, Yu Zifeng and Xia Chen were unable to endure any longer. 
that had nothing to do with their will. It was simply that their physical bodies weren't able to endure. They went to Menchi and the other side to absorb the gentler lightning. As the Dragonblood warriors absorbed the lightning on this side of the lightning channel, the lightning on the Martial Heaven continent side grew even more violent. Long Chen had his divine ring out and was absorbing this lightning at a crazy rate. That was because he had found that while this lightning tore about his body and soul, its tempering effect was extremely strong. His physical body had already reached an extremely terrifying level, so it had been a long time since he had been able to improve it. Now, that chance had come. Lai Long was immersed in the lightning like a dragon returning to the sea. Lai Long was the one benefiting the most. In the distance, Kun Pengzi's gaze was still cold, but he was delighted inside. This six-color lightning was a priceless treasure to him. He was absorbing as much of it as possible. The image of a giant Kunpeng appeared behind him. It gradually grew solid as he absorbed more of the lightning. Lightning runes appeared all over Kun Pengzi's body, and he opened his mouth, creating a giant vortex to absorb the lightning. Brother Long, is it possible for me to take advantage of you like this? Suddenly, a shout came from the crowd. It was someone who hadn't been seen in a long time. A scholarly man with a giant die spinning behind him. It was the gambling heavenly deus heir, Hu Fang. The tribulation lightning doesn't belong to me. If you want to come, then come. But if you get anything good, you'll have to remember this little favor. Long Chen smiled. Many thanks. Hu Fang smiled in return. And in front of everyone's shocked gazes, he walked into the tribulation lightning. The divine lightning crackled as it met his body, but Hu Feng remained unharmed. He walked to the point that he was almost about to enter the core region before he stopped and closed his eyes. The pill fairies entering as well. Just at that moment, people saw the pill fairy walking gracefully into the lightning. Tian Zizi's going as well. Heavens, is this heavenly tribulation a priceless treasure or something? Why are they all taking the risk to enter? The zither fairy Zi Yan looked toward Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. The three of them nodded, and together, they walked into the sea of lightning. A clamor followed. People were unable to understand why the top geniuses were entering Long Chen's lightning tribulation. Were they not afraid of karma striking? Did they not fear the lightning tribulation wiping them out? Ha ha ha, let's go. Bao Buping suddenly laughed and waved his hand leading the disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect into the tribulation lightning. Chapter 2308 Sharing as a Group Translator Born to be following the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples, the martial heaven alliance's disciples also moved. Yi Lingxin led her subordinates inside. Quick, enter the lightning sea to absorb its energy for a second upgrade. The elders of various powers began to give orders to their disciples. They had guessed that the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples must have received a secret message from Long Chen, or they wouldn't just charge in without even testing things. Then seeing the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples enter as well, they knew that it couldn't be dangerous. Otherwise, Long Chen would have warned them not to enter. Countless experts began to walk in. They were surprised to find that there was no change in the heavenly tribulation due to their intrusion. It maintained its regular tempo. When they reached the outer edge of the tribulation, specks of lightning landed on their bodies. Those disciples cried out in pain as their skin split open. This was just the outer edge. They hadn't even entered the sea of lightning, but the slightest specks were enough to injure them. Only the more powerful geniuses dared to enter the lightning sea. Some people barely lasted a few seconds before running out. After running out, they found that the lightning didn't chase them. It seemed that the lightning sea's will was focused entirely on Long Chen. It ignored them. As a result, people started growing more brazen. More and more experts entered. Suddenly, one group exploded upon entering the sea of lightning, making everyone else jump. If you're not a heavenly genius of this generation, the heavenly deus will not approve of you. If you enter, you'll die, shouted someone. That group had been composed of nether passage experts of the senior generation. They had wanted to benefit from this as well, only to be wiped out by the lightning as soon as they entered. Countless experts of the senior generation sighed in disappointment. They felt powerless that they hadn't managed to catch this great era. This generation was favored by the heavenly deos. 
To this generation's experts, the heavenly tribulation was like a mother's hands gently caressing them. To others, it was like a stepmother's hands crushing them to death. The cycle of the lightning had formed four regions. The outer edge, the tide, the inner circle, and the core. The outer edge only had some sputtering lightning splashing out. It wasn't truly part of the tribulation. The tide was the lightning surging out of the core and flowing toward the edges before flying back up. Just the power of the current was enough to pulverize people. One step deeper into the tide region was the inner circle. Twisting pillars of lightning stirred in this place, crashing down from the heavens. The only ones capable of entering this area were experts at the very peak like Kun Penzi, Tian Zizi, the Pil Fairy, Di Fang, the Zither Fairy, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng, Dongfang Yuayang, Hu Fang, and Yi Lingshan. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, Hua Shiyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the other experts just one level below them had tried to enter the inner circle, but had all been forced out. They were unable to endure the terrifying lightning there. As for the core region, the center of the hourglass shaped cycle of tribulation lightning, the only one capable of standing there was Long Chen. Covered in lightning, it was only possible to catch glimpses of him. Not only was there lightning, but the surrounding space was also distorted, causing his figure to seem illusory. Although no one was able to approach that area, it was clear that it was a region of death. The core of the heavenly tribulation was focused on Long Chen, which was why it ignored the others. Suddenly, within the inner circle, Yi Lingxian coughed up a mouthful of blood. Zi Yan, who was close by, reached out a hand to support her. She summoned her own domain to block part of the pressure. Don't try to talk to Long Chen. The divine lightning here won't allow you to stretch your soul that far. Also, if he did manage to hear it, it would form a link in karma. The heavenly tribulation would target you as well then, said Zi Yan. Yi Lingxian was pale. She hadn't expected things to be this grave. She saw Long Chen talk to Kun Pengzi without anything happening, so she had assumed that she could talk to him as well but the terrifying pressure had almost caused her mind to collapse. Just leave it to Long Chen, comforted Zi Yan. Yi Lingxian nodded and closed her eyes, focusing on sensing the will of the heavenly deos within the lightning along with Zi Yan, Nangong Zuayu, and Bidang Rushuang. The disciples of the various powers had all entered the lightning to absorb it. This was an extremely rare chance. This six-color lightning contained a mysterious energy. If they could comprehend the slightest bit about it, it would benefit them endlessly. As for the seniors of the various powers, they had high hopes for their disciples. Although they couldn't enter, just being able to bear witness to such a sight made them feel like their lives weren't wasted. That existence on the other side of the world said that this was six Tao divine lightning. Does that refer to the Daos in myths? The heavenly Tao, Azura Tao, human Tao, beast Tao, ghost Tao and Infernal Dao guessed someone from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hu Jinying and the others shook their heads. Myths were just myths. They weren't too believable. That creature from the Lightning World might not even be referring to six Daos that existed on the Martial Heaven continent. No. Just at this moment, a voice rang out and startled Hu Jinying and the others. They hastily bowed. Greetings, Daoist Heavenly Feather. The speaker was the master of the Divine Ice Palace. Yi's Hikyu's master, Daoist Heavenly Feather. She had actually come. She smiled and indicated for everyone not to be overly courteous. Hu Jinying asked, Senior, do you recognize this divine lightning? Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. I don't recognize it. This heavenly tribulation is no longer a tribulation. Its heavenly punishment as its laws have changed. The heavenly punishment is targeting Long Chen so others who enter the region of lightning won't be touching those laws. As long as they can endure that level of lightning, they'll be fine. If you look closely, you'll find that there are six kinds of lightning. Life, death, yin, yang, positive, negative. Everyone immediately looked closely, but no one else was able to see the different types of energy. Perhaps our realm is too low. They were unable to sense anything about those types of energy that Daoist Heavenly Feather had mentioned. It's not that your realm is too low. It's that you're not looking closely enough. Look at the disciples within the lightning tide. Every time they are struck by lightning, 
There are at least two bursts but sometimes dozens of bursts. In every case, it's an even number, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Focusing on this detail, everyone looked and saw that it really was as she said. There were always at least two bursts of power. There was never an isolated one. Life and death, positive and negative, yin and yang. They are on opposite sides of the power spectrum, but when they combine together, they are a kind of grand Tao. This is a good fortune to everyone, even to the people who can only watch. The six Deos referred to by that Drake King of the Other World should refer to those six polar types of energy, not the Deos that you were referring to. They are completely different, said Deoist Heavenly Feather. At this moment, within the core region, Long Chen's body became covered in dragon scales. Long Chen has summoned his Azure Dragon battle armor. It seems it's getting hard on him as well, said the old man solemnly. Based on his understanding of Long Chen, he would only take out the Azure Dragon battle armor when he was using his full power. Standing in the core, Long Chen couldn't see anything in the outside world. The space around him was completely distorted. At the same time, the lightning runes that landed on his body tore his body apart. At first, his body was able to endure it. However, as time passed, their power grew. The lightning runes were like tiny bombs exploding on his body and were now causing some blood to appear. At the same time as they split open his skin, they were also like poison, branding him with a kind of destructive rune that prevented him from healing. Suddenly, Lai Long let out a roar, making Long Chen smile coldly. Lai Long had told him that the lightning attacking him was completely different from the lightning attacking the others. Their lightning was half life and half death, while his lightning runes had all their life energy stripped away. Lai Long had sensed that and alerted him. If even heavenly tribulation can cheat like this, is there anything fair in this world? Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. The lightning striking him was full of death energy. Lai Long, don't worry about me. You can just maintain the channel and eat your fill. In a bit, I'll be relying on you. Lai Long let out a growl and continued its task of maintaining the channel. The spatial channel was very stable right now as a constant stream of lightning flowed into it. Why is the lightning this time so strange? Has its nature changed? Why has it suddenly become gentle? Long Chen looked up at the heavens. For some reason, a bad feeling started to appear in his heart. Something's wrong. I have to think of something. Lai Long, help me out, shouted Long Chen suddenly. Lai Long opened its mouth and devoured Long Chen. It then spat him out, causing him to shoot out of the core region like a shooting star. He instantly arrived in front of Kun Pengzi and slapped him in the face. Who let you not wear a hat? Chapter 2309 A Risk Taken Out of Desperation Translator Born to be borrowing Lai Long's power. Long Chen had charged out of the lock of the heavenly tribulation. It was so fast and so sudden that no one was able to react, including Kun Pengzi. No one had expected Long Chen to suddenly attack at this time, including Kun Pengzi. He had his eyes closed as he focused on absorbing the lightning. Without any defenses, Long Chen's slap sent him flying into the distance. Heavens, the experts in the distance were all shocked. How could Long Chen be so powerful? If he had switched his palm for his saber, wouldn't Kun Pengzi have been killed just now? What they didn't know was that Long Chen's slap had only landed because it wasn't a killing blow. It posed no threat to Kun Pengzi, rendering his sense of danger ineffective. If he really had used Evil Moon, then there was no way his sneak attack would have worked. After slapping Kun Pengzi flying, Long Chen borrowed the rebound force to fly to someone not so far away, Tian Zizi. A foot firmly planted itself into his nose. Tian Zizi had just sensed something was happening and opened his eyes, but all he saw was a foot flying toward him. He wanted to dodge, but it was too late. He was sent flying, just like last time. The offensive power wasn't strong enough to cause any injury to Tian Zizi, but such a thing was definitely worse than coughing up blood. Long Chen was intentionally humiliating him. Evil Moon suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. Shining with a cold light, Long Chen slashed it toward the distant Difang. At the same time, he shouted, You shameless bastards! Did I agree to let you in? Get the hell out! Having attacked Kun Pengzi and Tian Zizi, there was enough time for Difang to prepare. A spear appeared in his hand. Boom! D 
Di Feng wasn't shaken in the slightest, but Long Chen was knocked back by his spear. That was the difference in realms. Without stepping into the Nether Passage realm, there was still an uncrossable gap. Dai. Just at that moment, Kun Pengzi came flying back. He was so infuriated by that slap that he didn't even care to absorb more lightning. How shameless. After all the benefits I gave you, you want to kill me. Long Chen suddenly retreated back into the core region. Be careful. Long Chen is trying to bait you in, shouted Pen Wanli. As a spectator, he could see through Long Chen's plot. Boom. However, there was no way for Pen Wanli's voice to reach the core region. It was drowned out by the raging thunder. Meanwhile, Kun Pengzi charged into the core region, his lightning halberd slashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen was sent flying once more. Tian Zizi and Di Feng followed at first, but when they approached the core region, their expressions changed. They suddenly stopped and hastily retreated Novaloon.com boom. The void above the core region suddenly exploded. A giant ring of light enveloped them all. Then one figure after another came flying out of the collapsed space, attacking them. Every one of them was a young expert. They held various weapons, and battle intent soared out of them. Their manifestations appeared behind them, causing the heavenly deos to rage. Heavens, they're all Empyreans with awakened manifestation, and it seems that their spirit blood is activated as well. Shocked cries rang out. Where did they come from? Why were they just hiding in the sky? Are they experts from another world? There were men and women amongst those newcomers, but the one shared aspect was that they were young. They wore ancient garbs that were completely different from the style of the current era. They're not experts from another world. They are ancient heavenly geniuses who left an imprint on the heavenly deos when they underwent their tribulations. Their peerless talent qualified them to leave their mark on the heavenly deos, said deoist heavenly feather. More and more figures descended from the sky, unleashing killing blows on the four of them. This time, Long Chen had managed to drag down Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng with him. These heavenly geniuses descending from the heavens were no longer just targeting him. Now Kun Pengzi and the others were sharing his burden. The nine forms of heaven's extinction. Isn't that our sect's founder? Shouted someone in the crowd suddenly. That person was a disciple of the heaven's extinction gate. And he instantly recognized one of the techniques of the heavenly geniuses. It was a hundred times stronger than when he used it himself. That. That. Isn't that the one who swept through the continent 7,000 years ago? The one-armed divine Saber, Lu Chuandeo. I've seen paintings of him. Isn't that our seventh generation ancestor? Zhao Qingfeng? Heavens. Why is it that the same technique is so much stronger when he uses it? Both the disciples inside the Sea of Lightning and the experts outside were filled with shock. Occasionally, someone would recognize one of the heavenly geniuses. Those people's attacks were so powerful that Long Chen and the others were instantly pushed into a wretched state. Long Chen especially was covered in blood. He was unable to block so many powerful ancestors. Quick, record the techniques of the ancestor, shouted someone. This was a chance that would never come again. After many years, including several wars, many inheritances had been lost. Now they were seeing those inheritances once more. As a result, People hastily recorded the techniques used by their ancestors. They were all famous figures of their eras. They were witnesses to the martial heaven continent's glorious history. Long Chen definitely sensed something. So he actually attacked Kun Pengzi and the others to draw them into the core region with him. Now those three are sharing the attacks with him. Without them, Long Chen would have been killed by the heavenly tribulation. Long Chen was covered in blood. These experts were truly powerful. The skills which had made them peerless heavenly geniuses were not fake. Just blocking one of them was difficult. With so many of them attacking at once, he was constantly being injured. The only fortunate thing was that these heavenly geniuses were manifestations of lightning. As long as he avoided being struck in his vitals, those attacks wouldn't be fatal once they met his dragon scales. Suddenly, Evil Moon sent him a message. Long Chen. You can't pass this tribulation like this. The lightning is filled with death and destruction, not giving you any breathing room. Other people can grasp the life energy within the lightning to adjust themselves, but you aren't the same as them. You're just exhausting yourself. 
other than your physical body growing a bit stronger, there haven't been other changes. Don't you feel that it's strange? I've also sensed that problem. This tribulation is different from my past tribulations. I can't absorb it, said Long Chen, vexed. In the beginning, he had been able to absorb the lightning to strengthen his body, but toward the end, he wasn't able to strengthen himself at all. While the lightning continued to damage his body, Long Chen, try to use the swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability, suggested Evil Moon. You want me to devour them? Long Chen was startled. Was devouring lightning composed of death energy not suicide? There's no other way. Your aura isn't changing. My guess is that this heavenly tribulation's laws have changed specifically to kill you. Even if you survive to the end, you won't advance to the nether passage realm. Long Chen thought about it. That was true. It had been many hours since his tribulation had started, but his aura hadn't grown at all. Although his physical body had improved slightly, it wasn't too big of a change. That was why even after so much time, he was still unable to match Kun Pengzi and the others. He couldn't continue like this. He would either be killed by the Heavenly Tribulation or Kun Pengzi and the others. Kun Pengzi and the others also started to be flustered by the attacks of these ancient heavenly geniuses. Once they couldn't endure it any longer, they would definitely join forces to kill Long Chen. Once he was dead, the tribulation would end. Fine, I'll risk it. Long Chen clenched his teeth and suddenly took the initiative to absorb the lightning into his body. As a result, his whole body turned numb. He was almost killed when a sword almost slashed through his head. He only narrowly avoided it. As the lightning entered his body, Long Chen felt like he was going to explode. Every inch of his body screamed in pain. Evil Moon, you better not be conning me. If the divine ability of the dark evil dragon race was useless against this lightning containing only death energy, he would be doomed. Just at this moment, Lai Long came flying over, enveloping him and blocking the attacks of the heavenly geniuses for him. Lai Long's body appeared exceptionally weak in front of the attacks of these heavenly geniuses. Its body was repeatedly torn apart, but within the sea of lightning, it could recover by absorbing the surrounding lightning. It endured. Countless runes lit up within Long Chen's stomach. They were like the stars in the cosmos. The lightning surged into his stomach, and he activated Swallow the Heavens, Devour the Earth. Long Chen felt his life energy fading. He was horrified. If this continued, he would definitely die. Just as Long Chen was about to give up on this, the primal chaos bead shook ever so slightly. The lightning runes he had absorbed were instantly blasted to pieces. Once they exploded, they reformed into new lightning runes. Those lightning runes contained half-death energy and half-life energy. It works. Long Chen cried out in delight. He summoned his divine ring, absorbing the lightning with all his power. Chapter 2310 Six Color Yuan Spirit Translator Born to be in the end, the primal chaos beat is the most reliable. Long Chen was delighted by this surprise. This mysterious object that he had obtained from the Jiuli secret realm and still didn't understand had helped him out countless times. At this moment, Long Chen realized that the lightning runes within the tribulation had been changed by some kind of mysterious energy. The original half-life energy within them had been covered up, leaving only death energy for him. The primal chaos beat had then smashed apart that cover, unleashing the life energy that allowed Long Chen to absorb them. Long Chen's numb body gradually recovered. It was also at this moment that his 108,000 astral spaces began to activate on their own. The Feng Fu, Alif, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace lit up in his hands and feet, absorbing the lightning. The Divine Gate within his mind sea opened, and the Divine Gate star started to blaze even more intensely. As a result, his Yuan spirit began to grow once more and appeared on his forehead. Ah! No wonder their Yuan spirits appeared but mine didn't. Long Chen came to a sudden realization. When Meng Qi and the others had started their tribulations, their Yuan spirits had appeared. At that time, he hadn't felt anything odd. He had just thought that his cultivation technique was different. However, now he realized that the problem was that the lightning targeting him contained only death energy, resulting in him being unable to absorb it to strengthen his Yuan spirit. Now that the life energy had been uncovered, his 108,000 stars were activated. 
his Yuan spirit grew stronger and stronger. It gradually began to be affected by the color, becoming a six-color little figure. The intersection of life and death, the clash of positive and negative, the interaction between yin and yang. Now I understand. This is a demonstration of the heavenly deos. Two opposite energies clash, and yet they are inextricably linked. Life cannot exist without death. To step into the nether passage realm requires grasping this balance. A flash of understanding struck Long Chen. The lightning pouring into his body contained life and death, positive and negative, yin and yang. After comprehending this law, he had to maintain a subtle balance between them. He wasn't quite able to describe how, but he would slowly figure it out. Lai Long, work with me. Lai Long was being badly beaten by these ancient heavenly geniuses. Its body was constantly being broken and reforming. Even if it had an undying body, it couldn't stop them. Long Chen jumped onto its back and swung Evil Moon, sending one of them flying. As Long Chen crazily absorbed the lightning through his divine ring, the amount of world energy he could control grew. With every passing moment, his astral spaces expanded, and his power increased with them. Another heavenly genius was sent flying, while midway, it was slapped back by a dragon tail. Split the heavens eight. The heavenly genius was instantly killed, transforming into runes. Long Chen had to pay a price for this. He took two attacks in the back, pulverizing his flesh. However, when he absorbed these lightning runes, he sensed pure life energy quickly healing his injuries. Not only that, but the runes contained such immense power that he sensed his 108,000 astral spaces grow to a new level. So these life forms are the greatest benefit here. Long Chen's eyes lit up. With a roar, he charged toward a second one. That heavenly genius stabbed a sword at Long Chen's heart, while Long Chen ignored it and stabbed Evil Moon toward him as well. Hu Jinying and the others let out startled cries upon seeing this suicidal exchange. Had Long Chen really been forced into such desperate straits? Long Chen's saber stabbed through his opponent's body, while his opponent's sword also stabbed through his chest. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood, while his opponent was killed, transforming into runes. By taking an injury, he had managed to kill his enemy in one blow. These heavenly geniuses were all incredibly powerful existences. Hence, that attack had almost blown his body apart. Fortunately, he had managed to endure it. Long Chen quickly absorbed the lightning runes. After they went through the primal chaos beads transformation, a huge amount of life energy rapidly healed his injuries. Die. Long Chen started chasing after the heavenly geniuses, launching crazy blows with a practically suicidal fighting style. He repeatedly used his body to receive his enemy's attacks. Long Chen was constantly injured and covered in blood, but he only grew more brazen. With each blow, he killed one of them. Ha ruthless the spectator shivered. On the other hand, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were much more conservative. Only when they had a perfect scenario would they attack. That way, they avoided injuries. After killing their targets, they could also absorb the lightning runes. However, they didn't have Long Chen's ability to heal after absorbing the runes. That was why they couldn't easily receive injuries like he did. However, Kun Pengzi and the others were Nether Passage experts, and they had reached the second heaven stage. They had the power to kill these heavenly geniuses. Seeing Long Chen fighting so desperately, they sneered. They had no intention of attacking Long Chen. They were delighting in his miserable struggle. However, as more time passed, their contemptuous smiles faded. They noticed that Long Chen was growing stronger and stronger. At first, Long Chen had been forced to risk his life to kill one of them. But now, he had gone from a position of absolute inferiority to taking control of his battlefield. After another half an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen was in full control. Rather than being surrounded and trapped, he was going around and hunting them down. His divine ring rumbled behind him and his aura continuously grew stronger. As for his Yuan spirit, it was blazing with six-colored divine light, blazing like a brilliant sun. This lightning can be used to temper the Yuan spirit. Kun Pengzi and the others had only used the lightning to temper their physical bodies. They didn't dare to allow it to touch their Yuan spirits. This wasn't their tribulation. 
They were afraid of the heavenly tribulation not recognizing them and instead damaging their Yuan spirits. However, Long Chen's Yuan spirit was clearly growing stronger. Long Chen had yet to pass his tribulation, but the power of his Yuan spirit had far surpassed those who had reached the second vestige of Nether Passage. After some hesitation, Kun Pengzi clenched his teeth and sent a strand of the lightning into his Yuan spirit. A small Kunpeng appeared on his forehead. This Kunpeng was originally golden, but as it absorbed the lightning, some multicolored lines appeared within it. His Yuan spirit's aura also began to rise. Kun Pengzi was delighted. His Yuan spirit was starting to grow stronger with the nourishment of this six-color divine lightning. The Yuan spirit was very difficult to cultivate. A method that could improve a Yuan spirit this quickly was practically heaven-defying. Seeing Kun Pengzi nourish his Yuan spirit with the lightning, Di Feng and Tian Zizi tried it as well, although not all at once. After all, Kun Pengzi had a lightning spirit body, while they didn't. They waited for a while and carefully absorbed a trace of the lightning. The results made them smile. The six-color divine lightning was tempering their Yuan spirits as well. Seeing the three of them start tempering their Yuan spirits, the Pill Fairy, the Zither Fairy, Dongfang Yuyang, Zeman Shiangsheng, Nangong Zuyu, and the others also started. There were no problems for any of them. That made the others lower their guard and start tempering their Yuan spirits. Do you think we should charge in and help Long Chen? We'll also be able to absorb purer divine lightning like that, said Bidang Rushuang, looking at Long Chen and the others in the core region with some desire. I think we shouldn't. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were intentionally drawn in by Long Chen. Although it looks like the three of them are taking advantage now, do you really believe that Long Chen will allow them to take advantage of him? Nangong Zuyu shook her head. Although she didn't know what Long Chen was thinking, based on her intuition, Long Chen wasn't such a nice person. Not just anyone could take advantage of him. Hearing that and thinking about it herself, Bidang Rushuang nodded. It was best to continue staying here and absorbing the lightning. The Great Era is truly the Great Era. There are countless opportunities to get stronger, but they're the favorites of this era. While we can only watch, the seniors of the disciples within the lightning side emotionally. Those disciples were upgrading their Yuan spirits at an incredible speed. Everyone was benefiting from Long Chen. This could be considered a second, man-made chi flow eruption. After two hours, Long Chen's aura had grown increasingly powerful. His body suddenly shuddered, and the Nethergate star, which had not made any moves this entire time, slowly lit up. An invisible energy unfurled within his body. Long Chen was delighted. He had entered the first star transformation. He felt like a volcano of power was awakening within him. However, at that moment, the ancient heavenly geniuses suddenly exploded, transforming into runes. Those runes didn't scatter. Instead, they condensed into 27 figures. When those 27 figures appeared, everyone's expressions changed including Long Chen's Chapter 2311 The Nethergate Star's Power Translator. Born to be those 27 figures were 9 Kun Pengzis, 9 Tian Zizis, and 9 Di Fangs. In the face of 9 of themselves, their expressions grew ugly. Those figures had auras on the exact same level as them. The three of them were peerless experts who had undergone such trials before, but that time, they had only been facing one identical version of themselves, not nine. The void split open, and another nine figures appeared. These nine were of Long Chen, but while Kun Pengzi and the other's clones had aura identical to the true body, Long Chen's clones had stronger auras than Long Chen. How does it feel, you shameless fools? Do you think I'm so easily taken advantage of? Long Chen chortled at Kun Pengzi and the others. Idiot. Worry about yourself sneered Di Feng. While they were surrounded by nine of themselves, Long Chen's clones were clearly even stronger than him. Long Chen was the one who was really dead. For Long Chen to mock them made them snort in derision. At this moment, those figures attacked. The nine Kun Pengzis launched attacks with nine lightning halberds. That's the young master's Kun lightning void breaker art. And that's the lightning spear devour souls technique. There's even the Kun Peng splits the void divine ability. Heavens, the nine of him are using all his strongest techniques. 
the Kun Peng race's experts were all stunned. The nine Kun Pengsis were each just as strong as him and unleashed his strongest attacks. This was essentially a hopeless scenario Novaloon.com Kun Pengzi roared. His blood chi soared into the heavens as he used his spirit blood to link to his manifestation. The Kun Peng within his manifestation raised its head and roared as well. After that, Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd rumbled through the air. Boom. Kun Pengzi was blown back. A trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. Battle intent overflowed out of him. The copies were created by the heavenly deos. And so they cannot replicate my heavenly Tao manifestation. Otherwise, it would be the heavenly deos fighting against the heavenly deos. Without a manifestation. Do you think I would be afraid? Even the most difficult heavenly tribulation of the heavens is just on this level for me. Long Chen, your reputation is completely fake. Kun Pengzi laughed as he fought his nine clones. Brilliant light exploded as they fought. Kun Pengzi is truly terrifying. Even facing nine of himself, his battle intent hasn't diminished. That's a true expert. Even if those clones can't summon heavenly Tao manifestations, their techniques are still the same as the true body. They definitely have 80% of the true body's combat power. Even facing nine of himself, he possesses such confidence. Such a thing is truly rare. One of the human race's elders gave a rather apropos evaluation. Fighting nine of himself, Kun Pengzi didn't seem to be miserable at all. The immense power he revealed shook countless people. Tian Zizi and Di Feng were also thrown into their own fights. Tian Zizi became enveloped by Black Chi and a giant figure appeared behind him. He also used his spirit blood to link to his manifestation. Within Di Feng's manifestation, the Blood Emperor was unleashing incredible pressure. With each wave of his hand, Di Feng caused heaven and earth to collapse. He also had it easy fighting the nine clones. They're all so incredibly powerful. Others could only sigh in despair. There was no way for them to compare to these three. Even amongst heavenly geniuses, even amongst the favorites of the great era, the difference could still be immense. Is bragging that satisfying? Do you think things are over already? Be careful of being slapped in the face later, sneered Long Chen. At this moment, the nine Long Chens with nine evil moons attacked at the same time. Nine saber images crashed down like starry rivers. The old man and the others jumped. That was the eighth form of split the heavens. Boom. Shockingly, Long Chen didn't dodge. He directly took their attacks with Evil Moon. After a giant explosion, the nine clones of Long Chen were gone. What for a moment, everyone could only stare in dumbfounded silence. Long Chen had killed all nine of his more powerful clones in one attack? How was that possible? Long Chen lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He took a deep breath, maintaining an exterior appearance of indifference. However, inside he was crying out excitedly. This was the true power of the nine star hegemon body art. The lightning that he was absorbing caused his astral spaces to continuously grow. As they grew, the world energy he could control also increased. After his astral spaces had doubled in size, his Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate stars had suddenly shuddered and sent a torrent of energy into the Nether Gate star. The Nether Gate star had seemed to be in slumber all this time. Now, it had been awakened, and Long Chen felt a kind of power coming alive in his body. This entire time, he had been suppressing that power, concealing it from the heavenly deos. However, it seemed that he wasn't able to trick them. The clones of him that the heavenly deos made had much stronger auras than what he had revealed. Just now, Kun Pengzi and the others' derision had caused Long Chen's temper to light up, and he had directly used the power of his sixth star. As a result, when the full power of the Nethergate star was activated, the energy of his 108,000 astral spaces merged with it, giving him enough power to wipe out all nine of his clones. Could it be that the Nethergate star is the core of my world energy? Only with it can I unleash the full potential of my astral spaces. Just now, when he felt how vast the world energy that soared out of his astral spaces was, he felt like his astral spaces had been lazy brats before, refusing to give him their power. By using the power of the Nethergate star, his astral spaces gave him all their power without hesitation. That was what had resulted in such a shocking result. Long Chen's lazy appearance stunned everyone. 
It looked like everything was under his control. Standing atop the Peng Emperor's statue, he said, I was just toying with you before. Do you really think I only have that little ability? Crushing ants like you doesn't give me any feeling of superiority. Am I, Long Chen, someone who can be measured by the likes of you? Standing atop the Peng Emperor's statue, Long Chen appeared extraordinarily heroic and domineering. He was unafraid of the heavens, as if sensing his arrogance. The heavens were enraged. The void flickered, and countless lightning runes condensed in the sky. Long Chen had just destroyed the nine clones when the runes condensed into eighteen clones. When eighteen Long Chens condensed, in an instant, Kun Pengzi and the others' expressions changed. Because while the nine clones of them remained, and an additional nine had appeared, the pressure immediately grew. The eighteen clones of Long Chen attacked him once more. Long Chen snorted, and with the power of his Nethergate star, he swung his saber. Boom. Once again, the eighteen clones exploded. This time, Lai Long didn't give them any chance to reform. It directly devoured their runes. The void rumbled. This time, thirty-six Long Chens descended from the heavenly tribulation, and these clones of him were even stronger than before. At the same time, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng's clones increased to thirty-six as well. Tian Zizi was surrounded and flustered. One of his clones managed to strike his shoulder, causing him to vomit blood. That attack was the skill he had the greatest proficiency in. Even he was unable to block it when his clone used it against himself. Corrupt God slaughters the heavens. Tian Zizi let out a roar, and the figure within his manifestation raised a sword. That sword sliced through the void, sending his clones flying. At this moment, Tian Zizi was forced to show his real abilities. Kun Pengzi was also no longer as arrogant as before. He abandoned his human form and transformed into a giant Kunpeng, merging with his manifestation. His wings slammed his clones away. Blood Emperor descends upon the earth. Di Feng also let out a shout. The Blood Emperor figure within his manifestation unleashed rays of light that blew away his clones. Kill Long Chen. Don't play with him any longer, shouted Kun Pengzi. He sensed Long Chen growing stronger and stronger. If they allowed this tribulation to continue, then they would be in danger. Although this was a chance to absorb the lightning to temper their Yuan spirits, compared to the danger, it wasn't worth it. Kun Pengzi's giant body appeared in front of Long Chen in an instant. His heaven splitting wings slammed down. It was like the very heavenly Deos were being sliced apart in front of them. Evil Moon flashed. Compared to the mountain sized wings, it appeared puny, but power exploded out of it, causing the world to shake. In the face of Kun Pengzi's terrifying attack, Long Chen didn't budge. He remained standing on top of the Peng Emperor's statue even after receiving it. What seeing Long Chen receive Kun Pengzi's attack so easily, everyone was shocked. Before this, when the two of them had fought, Long Chen had been completely outclassed, unable to receive even an ordinary blow. Kun Pengzi had now merged with his manifestation and raised his power to his peak, but Long Chen was able to receive such an attack without moving? Had Long Chen been intentionally acting weak before? The game has only just started. How can you stop now? Sorry, but as the one in charge of this game, I'm not going to let you off. Long Chen's power suddenly grew, sending Kun Pengzi's giant body flying. Just at this moment, Tian Zizi and Di Feng's attacks arrived. Long Chen didn't take them on, instead dodging behind the Peng Emperor's statue's wings. At that moment, his clones attacked as well. Boom. Evil Moon once more let out a burst of power that smashed those clones to pieces. Kun Pengzi and the others' hearts turned cold. Chapter 2312 Lightning Witch Terrifies the World Translator Born to be 72 Long Chens appeared in the sky. At the same time, Kun Pengzi and the others' clones increased to 72 as well. Di Feng and Tian Zizi didn't have time for another attack after their first mist. Their 72 clones were whistling toward them. Kun Pengzi was also forced to turn toward 72 giant Kunpengs which attacked him. He had no choice but to give up on Long Chen and defend. As a result, he was seriously injured in just the first exchange. Having summoned his true body, Kun Pengzi's clones had also summoned theirs. He was being drowned in them. Kun Pengzi's true body was so huge that the Lightning Sea was unable to fully contain them. 
As they fought, the lightning sea surged outward. For a moment, it was impossible to see anything inside the lightning sea. They could only see giant figures clashing. As for the disciples peacefully absorbing the lightning within the tribulation, they were forced to flee for their lives. Kun Pengzi's giant body was too dangerous. Those clones didn't care about them. If they were caught up in their hunt, they could easily lose their lives. Even the likes of Pil Fairy, Zither Fairy, and Nangong Zuai retreated. Once they left, nothing happened with the tribulation. It didn't pursue them just because they had absorbed some of its lightning, allowing everyone to relax. They had gotten a huge benefit this time. Their Yuan spirits and physical bodies had grown stronger. In particular, using the six-color divine lightning to temper their Yuan spirits had doubled their power. All the disciples retreated from the tribulation as the sea of lightning was flaring like a volcano. Giant waves crashed against heaven and earth. Watching from a distance, they could only see giant Kunpengs crashing around in the lightning. They were unable to tell which was the real Kun Pengzi. Occasionally, they caught sight of a large group of Tian Zizis and Di Fengs through the cracks. For the two of them, it was easier to tell which was the real one because they had their manifestation behind them. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were thrown into chaos. Even as they unleashed their full power, they were constantly coughing up blood because of their 72 clones. Tian Zizi was the first to decide to flee the heavenly tribulation. However, before he could leave the core region, a curtain of lightning sent him flying back. Then one of his clones struck his back causing his blood to spray. If it weren't for his immense combat experience allowing him to block a portion of that attack's power in the critical moment, he would have been cut in two. Bastard. Tian Zizi's expression darkened. Now, he realized he had truly been conned. Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was too powerful. Long Chen arrogantly laughed. Ha ha ha. Want to leave? Keep dreaming. You better pass my tribulation with me. To use your words. This is an honor for a group of ants like you. Yes, three can count as a group. Long Chen returned to standing atop the Peng Emperor's statue. With every swing of Evil Moon, he forced back his clones. He seemed to have more than enough power left over. How can this be? Is Long Chen really so powerful? This sight shocked everyone. No matter how powerful Long Chen was, how could he beat so many of his clones? Wasn't the power of those clones based on his true body? It should be related to his cultivation technique. The heavenly deos are unable to replicate it, resulting in a giant difference between his true body and his clones. Long Chen must have some kind of giant secret. Yi Benchang pondered to himself. A trace of shock and greed appeared in his eyes. The other experts gradually came to realize that Long Chen's divine ring, battle armor, and dragon scales were not replicated in his clones. The strongest technique of those clones was the eighth form of split the heavens. Their other techniques were all ordinary, a great difference from the inexhaustible divine abilities coming from Kun Pengzi and the others' clones. Long Chen's clones were clearly weaker. Kun Pengzi and the others have been truly conned. The heavenly deos have locked onto them, even if they're Empyreans. It's no good. This heavenly tribulation is a heavenly punishment and doesn't care about them as long as it can kill Long Chen. However, why didn't Long Chen also attack the Pill Fairy? If she had also been drawn in, then, do you need to ask? He still has some hopes that the Pill Fairy might return to him. I heard that before becoming the Divine Daughter, the Pill Fairy had a romantic connection to him. When Pill Valley was hunting down Long Chen, she even let him off. Perhaps it's because of that kindness that Long Chen has never managed to harden his heart toward her. If those two peerless heavenly geniuses could end up on the same side, it would be good. Bah, who do you think Long Chen is? He already seduced so many beautiful women. Are all the world's beautiful women supposed to end up with him? Sneered someone from the ancient family alliance. I don't know if they're all supposed to end up with Long Chen, but I do know that with your toad-like face and your jealous heart, you'll definitely have no future with any beauty, retorted someone else. Courting death, raged the toad faced man. Keep talking and I'll really kill you. Bao Buping turned and glared at that person, pointing his broadsword at him. That person instantly deflated. He dared to say some arrogant words to others, but not to the madman from the heaven splitting battle sect. So he shut his mouth. Attack together. 
Quick. Kun Penzi's roar suddenly rang out. Ignoring their clones, the three of them attacked Long Chen, seemingly in a panic. What's going on? All the spectators looked around, trying to see what was pressing the three of them like this. What's that in the sky? Suddenly, a terrified cry made people raise their heads. At the very top of the heavenly tribulation, lightning was condensing into a giant figure. Half of that figure's body was above the dome of the sky, making it impossible for the people to see its face. They couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. That giant body was slowly shrinking, but as it shrank, the lightning forming it grew more solid. A new aura appeared, one that stood above all laws. It didn't matter what cultivation base someone possessed. They still felt terrified in the face of this figure. Below that figure, a curtain of light had surrounded the core region, trapping Kun Pengzi and the others. Even their clones were unable to breach that barrier. Heavens, what is that? How can such a tribulation truly exist? It's hopeless just at that moment. The earth began to crack in every direction. Previously, the pressure from the tribulation had compressed the earth into becoming harder than steel. But now even that wasn't enough. From outside the heavenly tribulation, it was possible to sense a will to crush all others. This was most likely the final wave of the tribulation. But this tribulation was truly an apocalyptic one. No one could possibly pass it. That bastard Long Chen. He knew he would die so he dragged a few others with him. Raged Peng Wanli. If Kun Pengzi and the others couldn't slay Long Chen now then they would be wiped out when this final level of the tribulation descended. Boom. Long Chen blocked with Evil Moon but was still sent flying by Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi was too anxious to hold back in the slightest. Long Chen had barely stabilized himself when Di Feng's spear pierced at him. He wanted to dodge, but one of Kun Pengzi's clones was in the way. As a result, he could only use Evil Moon to deviate the spear's path. Its tip left a long cut across his ribs. The tip had an explosive force behind it that broke Long Chen's ribs and shook his internal organs. Di Feng was also putting his all into it. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon behind him, barely blocking Tian Zizi's blood-colored spear. He was flung into the air. The three of them were going all out. They even ignored the attacks of their clones as long as they weren't fatal, willingly being injured in order to keep the assault up on Long Chen. They even crowded their clones together using them to limit Long Chen's movements. You're panicking just from this? Didn't you say something about how my reputation was fake based on my weak tribulation even as Long Chen was driven to desperate straits by their attacks? His mouth didn't rest. During this time, the figure up in the sky grew ever smaller. Its aura also rose terrifyingly. It felt like it would suffocate people. Hurry, kill him, shouted Kun Pengzi. A sense of mortal crisis was growing closer. He was afraid. This heavenly tribulation was probably enough to destroy this entire world. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng went all out. However, lightning flashed around Long Chen's body, allowing him to swim through the clones like a fish. It was very difficult for them to catch him and deal him a fatal blow. Long Chen, you trash. You're too much of a coward to have a straightforward fight. Cursed Di Feng. Don't be impatient. Remember what you just said because I'll be giving you that chance once my tribulation is over. Of course. That's assuming you're still alive then, said Long Chen. He suddenly shouted, Drake King, this is my greatest gift to you. Make sure you receive it well. Following that, the space behind Long Chen split open and a giant mouth appeared. Chapter 2313 Merging with the Peng Emperor's Heroic Spirit Translator born to be space exploded and the drake king's head stuck out. Its silver body had now turned golden. However, its eyes had taken on the six colors of the divine lightning, shining brightly like two stars. It opened its mouth and the world was pulled in. Long Chen and the others felt an irresistible suction force draw them in along with their clones. The lightning domain's drake king had long since been told by Long Chen to wait for this moment. As soon as the Drake King had seen Long Chen and the other's clones, its eyes had lit up. As a body of lightning, it understood just how amazing those clones were. If it could devour the essence of that divine lightning, it would be equivalent to hundreds of years of cultivation. When it had been about to eat a few of them, Long Chen had told it to wait. He had said that a much bigger feast would be awaiting it. With its belief in Long Chen, 
the Drake King had waited, concentrating all the power of the Lightning Domain for this one moment. It instantly blew open a spatial channel and sucked in all the lightning. Kun Penzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were horrified. That mouth was devouring everything. They had no choice but to flee. However, the Drake King had now shown up with all the lightning domain's power, and so they were still being pulled in. Long Chen wasn't affected by the suction. He flew out of its range and then smiled and waved at Kun Penzi and the others. Go be dragon shit in peace. Kun Penzi and the others were enraged. However, even as they did their best to fly out, the immense suction force pulled them back. There was some kind of spatial law included in it. Kun Penzi reacted immediately by returning to human form, reducing the pull on his body. However, he was still too slow. All his clones were instantly devoured by the Drake King, and he was being pulled in bit by bit. Lightning exploded out of him, but at best. He was only able to prevent himself from being devoured instantly. To escape was impossible. The Drake King's mouth had formed a whirlpool of death devouring all the lightning. If Kun Pengzi had been in human form from the start, perhaps he could have used his speed to get away. But now, he could only bitterly endure. Kun Pengzi was roaring on one side, while all the various clones flew by into the Drake King's mouth. As he saw those powerful figures enter its mouth, he watched them explode and turn into lightning runes to be devoured by it. This sudden change shocked the experts watching, especially the ones from the Xuan Beasts, the Corrupt Path, and the Ancient Family Alliance. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng had gone from a state of absolute superiority to facing death in an instant. Those three represented the hopes of their three great powers. If they died, then those three powers would fully decline. Only the true bodies were able to hold on, but the three of them were still slowly being sucked in. That's enough. Activate the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit. Peng Wanli suddenly clenched his teeth. Race leader, the ceremony is still not complete. Forcibly awakening it will. The elders of the Kunpeng race all looked at him with shock. Yes, it might cost half our karmic luck and emperor blood, but there's no way around it. If Kun Pengzi dies. Who knows how many more years we'll have to wait? Furthermore, it's not like we have that much time left. Peng Wanli shook his head. Upon hearing that, Kun Pengzi's expression changed. He was still trying to resist the pull. He seemed to be caught in a difficult decision. Daoist Heavenly Feather sighed. This move of Long Chen's is quite vicious. He has caught three peak heavenly geniuses, and the only one capable of turning this situation around is Kun Pengzi. Hu Jinying and the others were startled. Li Xiangxuan asked, Senior, are you saying that Kun Pengzi can summon the reincarnation of the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit? Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. It's not a reincarnation. It's a merger with the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit and bloodline. The Peng Emperor was a figure capable of shaking the world in the past and present. If he hadn't been born at the wrong time, resulting in a sovereign in the same generation suppressing him. The Martial Heaven Continent might be ruled by the Xuan Beasts. The Peng Emperor sealed his bloodline and soul inside that statue, which is why it is able to survive this berserk tribulation. The material is just ordinary stone, but due to the soul and bloodline of the Peng Emperor, it is essentially indestructible. That's enough to show just how terrifying the Peng Emperor was back in the day. The Peng Emperor's heroic spirit maintains the Peng race's karmic luck allowing many heavenly geniuses to rise amongst the Xuan beasts. As for his bloodline, it continues the inheritance of the Peng race's divine abilities, allowing every generation of the Kunpeng race to automatically awaken their innate abilities. Now that the Great Era has come, the Kunpeng race has been offering sacrifices to fully awaken the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit. Once it's awake, they plan on having Kun Pengs emerge with his soul and bloodline resulting in another kind of rebirth for the Peng Emperor Ku Jinying and the others sucked in a cold gasp of air. If the Peng Emperor was reborn, then wouldn't he be unrivaled? There was no sovereign to suppress him. However, based on the current state, it seems that they haven't managed to awaken the Peng Emperor yet. If Kun Pengzi activates the statue now, it will end up losing much of the Peng Emperor's soul essence and bloodline power. The merger will be incomplete and so his combat power will be much lower, said Li Xiangxuan. Daoist Heavenly Feather nodded. Yes, 
Kun Penzi is hoping to endure without it, that Lighting Drake is repulsed by the Martial Heaven Continent's laws. Eventually, it will be forced to retreat. If he can last until the Lightning Drake leaves, then there will be no need for him to do such a thing. But if he can't last that long, then to protect his own life, merging with the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit will be his only option. Furthermore at this moment, Daoist Heavenly Feather looked at the sky. The giant lightning figure was continuing to condense. Kun Pengzi looked at the mouth of the Drake King to that figure up in the sky. Suddenly, a furious light appeared in his eyes. Long Chen, I will kill you. Kun Pengzi let out a heaven-shaking roar as he formed new hand seals. A divine rune appeared on his forehead, and an identical rune lit up on the Peng Emperor's statue's forehead. An ancient aura burst out of the statue. It suddenly exploded, causing Long Chen to leap off. After the statue exploded, it revealed a small butterfly-sized Kunpeng shining with brilliant light. That light was so majestic that it covered up the light from the lightning. That tiny Kunpeng flew toward Kun Pengzi and merged into the rune on his forehead. Kun Pengzi's aura erupted. As a result, a wave of terrifying power caused the void to collapse in every direction. The lightning domain actually quivered and was forced back. The spatial channel began to crumble. Not good. The Drake King let out a roar. It was unable to stabilize the channel due to the huge collapse. Its claw suddenly reached out of the channel as it attempted to keep it open. But the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent refused to allow it. The huge amount of collapsing space had triggered the laws to restore the space here. And the spatial channel slammed shut. With the channel slammed shut. The Dragon Blood Legion was isolated within the Lightning Domain. Kun Pengzi's eyes were scarlet. His gaze seemed to be one of a ruler as he looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, this emperor will make you regret being born in this world. Even Kun Pengzi's voice had changed, becoming older. It was like he was a completely different person. Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd slashed down mercilessly, unleashing a black streak of light. That black streak was a crack in space. The result of tearing through the void to the extent that if someone was struck by it, they would be blown to bits. Having merged with the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit and bloodline, Kun Pengzi's cultivation base didn't increase, but his divine abilities became far more terrifying, almost on the same level as the Peng Emperor of that time. Emperor? How laughable. You aren't a god or the ruler of the world. What are you an emperor of? Sneered Long Chen. However, he didn't dare to receive Kun Pengzi's attack directly. Long Chen's lightning wings swung forward, striking the crack in the void. Then he borrowed its power to fall back. Ripples appeared on his blade as he swung it into the black crack as well. Fragments of spastime flew. This was a world-shaking attack. However, with two attacks, Long Chen managed to retreat without being injured. He had just avoided that attack when the void exploded above him. A giant bone tower smashed down. The corrupt god ancient tower. Long Chen recognized this divine item of the corrupt path. Waves of black chi surged out of it. And it was impossible to dodge. Long Chen could only hastily block it. And as a result. The impact almost smashed his body apart. He vomited blood. The corrupt god ancient tower had fully recovered from what he had done to it last time. It seemed that the corrupt path had done something to it to make it even more powerful. Tian Zizi's manifestation also unleashed its own attack. The god figure behind him swung down a giant blood-colored blade at Long Chen. As a result, Long Chen's arms shook and almost shattered from blocking it. This is no good. I'm still not fully in the Nether Passage realm. Long Chen's expression changed. The three of them were going all out, forcing him into desperate straits. Kun Pengzi. Tian Zizi, and Di Feng had surrounded him, attacking with their three divine items. Long Chen, Dai. Chapter 2314 A Sovereign flips the world with the wave of a hand translator, born to be the next level of the heavenly tribulation was about to descend. No one knew just how terrifying it would be, but all their senses were screaming that the four people inside would definitely be killed. Right now. Their only hope of surviving was to kill Long Chen before the final level of the tribulation. The three of them had surrounded him and were unleashing their strongest attacks. The space around Long Chen was squeezed and compressed by their attacks. Six stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. With a powerful slash, he disturbed the lock of space to escape. Flying straight up, 
their three attacks crashed together, completely destroying the space where Long Chen had been. But Long Chen was already high up in the sky. He actually entered the giant lightning figure. Surrounded by his own lightning, Long Chen managed to stay within the lightning giant. He laughed. Come here and fight. Suddenly, a burst of power struck him. It felt like a giant foot had kicked him. So he went flying straight toward Di Feng by coincidence. The two of them crashed into each other, both coughing up blood by this sudden change. Even they had been unable to react to it. Stars were spinning in Di Feng's vision. If it hadn't been for his divine armor, he would have been killed by that impact. Tian Zizi and Kun Pengzi were delighted to see Long Chen get kicked out, and they immediately charged toward him. However, just at that moment, their expressions changed. The giant lightning figure in the sky exploded, unleashing a wave of lightning runes that blew them back. In front of that wave of lightning, the four of them seemed incredibly minuscule. They were powerless to resist. When they looked back toward the lightning giant, they found that it had vanished. However, where it had been was a white-robed man. That white-robed man had sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes. Just by standing there, all the deos of the world began to bend toward him in worship. Everyone let out a shocked cry at the same time. Sovereign Moli, the lightning giant had actually transformed into Sovereign Moli in the end. Everyone's minds went blank. The only difference from the Sovereign Moli that had appeared in front of the Yun Yang world was that the current Moli had a sword on his back. Long Chen felt that this sword was a bit familiar. Big brother Moli, do you still recognize your little brother? Shouted Long Chen, a bad feeling rising in his heart. Despite his hopes, Sovereign Moli smashed a palm at him. That palm was like a mountain, all on its own. It encompassed Long Chen, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Fang. An unprecedented sense of danger made Long Chen's hair stand on end. Without even thinking about it, Long Chen activated the full power of his six stars, enveloping himself with it, entering his strongest defensive state. Kun Pengzi and the others were pale with terror. Who could have expected that the final level of the heavenly tribulation would be a sovereign attacking? Dodging was an impossibility. They could only face him head on. Boom. The earth was torn asunder. Where the land met the sea, a giant handprint appeared, sending a wave of dirt and water in every direction. When the dust settled, the handprint remained, but the seawater had been blown far into the distance and had yet to return. When it did, it flowed around the handprint as if it couldn't flow inside. After seeing that giant handprint, everyone's heart stopped beating. It had just been a simple attack, but it was impossible to block. Had Long Chen and the others been flattened beneath that palm? They were personally witnessing a sovereign fight. Although this sovereign was just an imitation created by the heavenly deos, that handprint had left a deep impression on their hearts. Four explosions followed as four figures flew out of the crushed earth in the handprint. Long Chen, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were all covered in blood. Long Chen patted off the dust and spat out a mouthful of blood and dirt. He really is strong. Sharp light blazed in Long Chen's eyes, and an urge to fight rose from deep within his heart. The sovereigns were supreme existences, and their legend was unsurpassable. They were the greatest experts of this world being so powerful that others could only despair in front of them. At the start, Long Chen had felt a bit afraid, but after receiving that palm, his battle intent was ignited. A grand feeling made Long Chen see a new goal for himself. Suddenly, Kun Pengzi swung his lightning halberd at Long Chen. Long Chen raised Evil Moon, but a cracking sound rang out as both his arms broke. Having merged with the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit, Kun Pengzi's power now contained a kind of law. The current Kun Pengzi was no longer the old Kun Pengzi, not giving Long Chen any time to rest. Kun Pengzi shot after him, attacking again. At the same time, Tian Zizi and Di Feng also charged over. For the lightning tribulation to manifest a sovereign, they knew that they couldn't beat him. Their only shot at surviving was to kill Long Chen first. Boom. However, before their attacks could land, Sovereign Moli unleashed a fist, still looking as unconcerned as ever. Despite a seemingly lack of concern, this fist made time stand still. Spastime was compressed by some kind of power, and Long Chen, Kun Pengzi, Di Fang, and Tian Zizi were frozen, unable to move. 
Even Kun Penzi's attack was locked in place. Boom. The giant fist landed and a bottomless hole appeared in the ground. An explosion of countless gases shot out into the sky. And then lava burst out. Rather than spreading across the land, that lava blasted into the air, forming a giant pillar straight into the sky. More flowed out as some retreated back into the ground. It seemed that the laws of the heavenly deos prevented it from flowing across the land. One palm and one fist. They looked careless but possessed the power to destroy this world, making people feel boundless reverence. This was a sovereign, an undefeatable existence. Even just the imitation of the heavenly deos stood at the very peak of the martial Dao. Where are they? Cried out someone. Long Chen, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng were all gone. Had they been killed? Coughing sounds rang out. At this moment, they noticed one person standing far from the pillar of lava. Kun Pengzi. The sole survivor seemed to be Kun Pengzi. He crawled up, his manifestation of a giant Kunpeng shuddering behind him. His manifestation was different from before. This Kunpeng looked to be made of gold and emitted an ancient and fierce aura. The Kunpeng race's experts let out cheers upon seeing that manifestation. The Great Peng Emperor's manifestation Kun Pengzi's aura had clearly transformed. The Golden Kunpeng emitted a divine aura that made the blood of the Kunpeng race's experts quicken. That was a bloodline resonance. After merging with the Peng Emperor's heroic spirit, just before the attack had arrived, Kun Pengzi had awakened the Peng Emperor's bloodline, saving his life. At this moment, people saw Tian Zizi and Di Feng crawling up not too far from Kun Pengzi. They were both in miserable straits. Di Feng's aura was extremely weak, and his body was a mess. However, Tian Zizi was even worse off. Half his body had disappeared. Half his head was missing. That was a horrifying appearance. The two of them had managed to survive only thanks to Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi's Peng Emperor bloodline had activated at that critical moment, or the two of them would have died from that attack. When the three of them crawled up, they suddenly grew ecstatic. The lock on their bodies had vanished. Ha ha ha. Long Chen is dead. The heavenly tribulation is over. Di Feng laughed. The lock of the heavenly tribulation was gone. That could only signify one thing. Hearing that, the old man, Hu Jinying, Li Xiangxuan, and the others didn't know how to react. Li Xiangxuan in particular could only sigh inside. As expected, the legends were true. A heaven defier's fate was to die to heavenly tribulation. Not even Long Chen had managed to escape his fate. Even a sovereign had appeared to make sure that he had no chance of surviving. This can't be real. Long Chen can't die. Hu Jin Ying's years overflowed. The old man could only silently comfort her. Who could do anything in the face of a sovereign? This heavenly tribulation had come to kill Long Chen. No, this is impossible. Long Chen is so evil. There's no way that he could die. Bidang Rushuang shook her head. Without even being aware of it, her cheeks were covered in tears. Nangong Zuayu quietly consoled her, but she was also sobbing. A heavenly genius like Long Chen had ended up dying to heavenly tribulation. Don't be sad. Long Chen isn't dead. I can sense him. He is my life's. Trust me. Zi Yan was still looking at the pillar of lava, certain of her words. Ha ha ha. Idiots of the righteous path. Let's see if you can still be arrogant now that Long Chen is dead. The experts of the Xuan beasts, the ancient races, the corrupt path, and the ancient family alliance began to mock them. Although Yi Lingxian would be the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, Long Chen was the mental pillar of the righteous path. His death indicated that the Martial Heaven Alliance's death was set in stone. No, something's off. If the heavenly tribulation is done, why is the sovereign still standing there? Suddenly, a cry from someone woke up Hu Jinying and the others who were lost in their grief. That's right. If Long Chen was dead, the heavenly tribulation would dissipate. But it, Li Xiangxuan cried out in joy. Boom. The pillar of lava exploded, and a figure flew out like a black bolt of lightning at Sovereign Mo Li. A sinister saber swept through the air. What everyone was dumbfounded by what they were seeing. Unable to believe it. Chapter 2315 A Sovereign's Karma Translator Born to be Long Chen Bidang Rushuang let out a startled cry. Long Chen actually wasn't dead and was even attacking Sovereign Mo Li. Boom. Sovereign Mo Li was expressionless. 
He slowly raised a hand, blocking Long Chen's saber. A powerful explosion of light shook the world. Long Chen was sent flying and smashed into the earth, leaving a long ditch in the ground before crashing into the martial heaven sea ring, causing giant waves to explode. Long Chen came flying out of the furious sea. He was filled with shock. A sovereign was truly powerful enough to cause despair. The previous attacks had been shared by the four of them, but Long Chen had been the main target. Sovereign Moli's punch had made him feel like his body would explode. In that instant, he had truly thought that he was going to die. However, just as he thought that he was dead, the Nethergate star lit up, linking his 108,000 astral spaces. As a result, the force that crashed into him was jointly shared by his astral spaces. With 108,000 astral spaces sharing the burden, the power behind that blow was gradually ground away. However, Long Chen still didn't know how to control that power. Sovereign Moli's power was so immense that Long Chen couldn't balance it. Some of his astral spaces were under greater pressure, and after two attacks, some of them were showing signs of destruction. Evil Moon, do you have a method to cut him down? Long Chen felt powerless. There was nothing he could do against the power of a sovereign. At the same time, Long Chen understood why Sovereign Moli had apologized to him last time saying that the karma from last time would fall on his shoulders. Now he knew what that karma was. You have yet to fully pass your tribulation and haven't received the mark from the heavenly deos. You cannot use life and death energy, so you cannot use my full power. That bastard Yun Shang, other than an outer seal, he even left an inner seal. He really pisses me off. Cursed evil moon. Then there's no other choice but to go all out. Long Chen clenched his teeth. There really was nothing to do against a sovereign. He could only put everything on the line. Kill. Long Chen roared. This roar was just to boost his own courage. In the face of a sovereign. In the face of an existence that stood at the peak of this world. Even Long Chen felt deflated. A sovereign was just too terrifying. A sovereign could not be beaten. Boom. Long Chen had just charged back when Sovereign Moli let out another casual palm. Sending him flying once more. Time and time again, Long Chen attacked, only to be blown back, and every time, he would hack up blood, in front of a sovereign, he appeared far too weak, heavens, is this a sovereign, even a peak heavenly genius is nothing compared to him, seeing Long Chen slammed back so easily one time after another, everyone was shocked, the only true undefeatable existence in this world was a sovereign, Long Chen is pretty strong himself, he actually has the courage to fight in front of a sovereign. Anyone else would have just accepted their fate. Even from this great distance, people were filled with such reverence for the sovereigns that they felt it was a blasphemy to look at him. As for fighting back? Impossible. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng didn't dare to counterattack against a sovereign. They only defended. Every time Long Chen was blown back, he sustained heavy injuries. However, he didn't stop, continuing to charge forward. Just that kind of will made others feel admiration. At this moment, one of his astral spaces cracked. Then more and more of them followed. Although they didn't shatter, it seemed that they had reached their limit. If Long Chen continued like this, his astral spaces would be destroyed. If his astral spaces were destroyed, then there would be nowhere for Long Chen to unleash the burden of the attacks he received. In that case, the sovereign's palm would smack him to death. Long Chen formed hand seals, summoning the giant lightning channel again. A giant golden dragon claw stretched out of it, reaching toward Sovereign Moli. In the face of that giant claw, Sovereign Moli slowly reached for the sword on his back. A flash of light appeared, and the Drake King's shocked cry came from the other side of the channel. Its claw had been cut off and transformed into lightning that shot in every direction. At the same time, the sword's power continued, shattering the void and causing the spatial channel to crumble. Sovereign Moli's sword then pointed toward Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked to find the world around him solidified. It was like a giant net had wrapped around him. He was completely trapped with nowhere to go. Long Chen howled, concentrating all his power into his saber. He knew that he was definitely dead today. The only thing he could do was bring Sovereign Moli down with him. Sovereign Moli's sword stabbed through Long Chen's chest, and Long Chen's head went blank. All noises faded away. 
Then a world of pure white appeared around Long Chen. The light was too bright for him to open his eyes. Eventually, his vision grew accustomed to it. He found that he had entered a strange space. Everything was empty, and there was simply white light. You lost. A gentle voice rang out behind Long Chen. He looked back to see Sovereign Moli Novaloon.com seeing him like this. Long Chen furiously cursed. I viewed you as a brother, and you killed me. Calm down. Don't be so emotional. Sovereign Moli smiled faintly. Calm down. It was because I viewed you as a brother that I couldn't focus 100% on killing you. What kind of crap is that? Even if you could have abandoned all distractions and focused on me, you wouldn't have been able to kill me. At most, you would have managed to struggle a bit longer. You still would have died to my hands in the end. Sovereign Moli shook his head. Hearing that, Long Chen deflated like a balloon. Sovereign Moli was correct. Even if he had been able to ignore all his distracting thoughts, he would have been defeated. Do you remain unconvinced? asked Sovereign Moli. Yes, you are a sovereign. This is clearly a case of the big guy bullying the small guy, snorted Long Chen. You're wrong. That version of myself that the heavenly deos have manifested is in the same realm as you, said Sovereign Moli. What Long Chen was startled. He refused to believe this. Due to my actions last time, you were drawn into my karma. I sensed it at that time. So I warned you. The karma is too complicated for me to say anymore, or it will only increase. Regretfully, you didn't understand at that time. So you ended up losing today, sighed Sovereign Moli. Long Chen was silent. He truly hadn't expected the karma to manifest in such a way. A sovereign had been sent out to eliminate him. Long Chen, you are still lost. Sovereign Moli patted Long Chen on the shoulder, speaking with deeper meaning. What you still haven't found your true self. That's why you are still so weak. That powerful version of you has yet to awaken. Why don't I feel that way? Demanded Long Chen. Sovereign Moli smiled. Why lie to yourself? Have you not felt that you are constantly suppressing yourself? I just don't want to get too much of an ego and get too arrogant. I don't want to be devoured by my desires. Whether that's true or not is something you are the most aware of. Long Chen, this karma was planted by me, but you ended up bearing it. That's why we'll share it this time. I can help you cheat, allowing you to pass. Really? You mean that I'm not dead? Yes. I, Mo Li, am not such an unreasonable person. The karma that I planted must be taken responsibility for. However, don't get too happy. I can help you cheat this time, but it will make the karma grow, and it must be settled during your next tribulation. At that time, if you still haven't gotten strong enough, everything will end, said Sovereign Moli. Long Chen, the path you chose is different from ours. That's why your actions must be different from other people's. Do not doubt yourself. Release your true self to find your strongest self. Sovereign Moli's figure vanished. Long Chen felt a sharp pain in his chest, as well as countless shocked cries. He saw Sovereign Moli's sword stabbed into his chest. Lightning was condensed within it, ready to explode like a volcano. If that happened, not even a speck of himself would remain. However, the berserk energy within the sword had been suppressed. Long Chen knew that this was the mercy left by Sovereign Moli, his so-called cheating. Long Chen found Evil Moon in his hand stabbing Sovereign Moli's chest. The two of them had killed each other. At this moment, Long Chen could hear Bidang Rushuang shout from a great distance. He hadn't expected this person who couldn't spare him half a look to actually care about him that much. A giant scene appeared in Long Chen's mind. He saw everyone's expressions. The old man, Hu Jinying, Li Xiangxuan, Bidang Rushuang, Nangong Zuayu, Yi Lingxian as well as countless other people who cared about him. They were all looking at him with grief and regret, as if they wished to be the one dying instead of him. Fighting spirit reignited within Long Chen's heart. Long Chen, remember my words. Your time is running out, said Sovereign Mo Li. After saying that, his body began to fracture, transforming into lightning runes. All the nearby lightning runes condensed into a giant rune. Long Chen succeeded Bidang Rushuang cried out in joy between her tears. When that rune appeared, Kun Pengzi and the others' expressions changed. 
Kun Penzi was the first to charge out and pierce his lightning halberd forward. Chapter 2316 Warrior Ups Translator Born to be that rune was left behind by the heavenly deos. Once merging with that rune, the world would acknowledge you as a true nether passage expert. However, such a rune wouldn't appear for just anyone. Most experts would only absorb the lightning to the standard of the heavenly deos and would obtain that acknowledgement. The rune would then appear in their body. A rune that manifested itself outside of the body was much stronger. Kun Penzi, Tian Zizi, Di Fang, and the other peak heavenly geniuses had all had a rune manifest outside their bodies. That was why their hearts dropped upon seeing this rune. It signified that Long Chen had passed the tribulation. Once he merged with it, he would fully step into the Nether Passage realm, and his combat power would soar. Kun Penzi turned into a bolt of lightning shooting at Long Chen. His halberd pierced toward Long Chen's head. He wanted to kill Long Chen before he could merge with his rune. Suddenly, an arrow flew through the air, releasing blinding light. Bidang Rushuang had taken action. The tribulation had vanished, and they didn't have to have misjivings any longer. Bidang Rushuang's arrow infuriated Kun Penzi. Even someone as powerful as him couldn't ignore this arrow. Boom. Kun Penzi's lightning halberd swung through the air, shattering the arrow. But his movement came to a stop. Before he could attack again, Bidang Rushuang unleashed another arrow forcing him to stop his advance. Bidang Rushuang, you are courting death, roared Kun Penzi. At this critical moment, Bidang Rushuang was stopping him and allowing Long Chen to merge with his lightning rune. Long Chen, hurry and merge with the rune of the heavenly deos. Leave the rest to us. Nangong Zuayu also stepped forward. A curtain of water descended from the heavens, falling into the martial heaven sea ring. The martial heaven sea ring began to boil. One giant water dragon after another soared out, attacking Tian Zizi and Di Fang. Di Fang and Tian Zizi roared furiously, blasting those water dragons apart. However, the water dragons came in an endless tide. Boom. Just at that moment, a giant furnace slammed apart countless water dragons. A graceful figure stood on top of it. The Pill Fairy had come with Pill Valley's divine item, the Day Night Furnace. The day night furnace had just appeared when a giant multicolored umbrella blocked it. Images of mountains and rivers moved it up of it. They seemed alive, as if there was a world inside the umbrella. In front of that other world was Nangong Zuayu. She blocked the pill fairy's path. You aren't a match for me. If you don't want to be killed, get out of the way, ordered the pill fairy. The day night furnace rumbled toward Nangong Zuayu. Boom. The umbrella's mountains collapsed. Nangong Zuaya was forced back bit by bit. Your Nangong family's mountains and rivers umbrella might be an ancient divine item, but it has no god's inheritance. If you still refuse to appreciate my kindness, don't blame me for being merciless. The pill fairy coldly pressed forward. Boom. The mountains and rivers were torn apart. Cracks appeared all over the umbrella. In this clash of divine items, the mountains and rivers umbrella was clearly no match for the day night furnace which came from a god's inheritance. Blood dripped out of Nangong Zuayu's mouth, but she remained calm. She showed no sign of retreating. The pill fairy formed hand seals, causing the day night furnace to rumble. As she prepared an even stronger attack, she asked, Do you like him so much that you're willing to sacrifice your life to protect him? Nangong Zuayu smiled and shook her head. It has nothing to do with liking him. I believe in the sovereigns. Since the sovereigns favor him, I will use my life to protect him. I believe that even if Long Chen cannot become a sovereign, he is the hope for the future of the martial heaven continent. How stupid. There are clearly gods in this world. Yet you place your faith in the ignorant the pill fairy snorted. A divine rune lit up on her forehead, and the day night furnace's runes blazed with fire. It came smashing forward with several times the power compared to before. This time, the pill fairy was using her god energy to bring out the full power of the day-night furnace. If this attack landed, Nangong Zuaya would definitely die. However, even in the face of this fatal attack, Nangong Zuaya didn't retreat. The mountains and rivers umbrella revolved. Even if she had to die, she would receive this attack. A zither suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Blocking the day night furnace. Boom. A powerful explosion rang out accompanied by the music of a zither. 
The zither and furnace separated, leaving the void still distorted. When things settled, Zi Yan's figure appeared. Zi Yan's gaze was icy with killing intent. Yu Kingsuan, you've really disappointed me. I always thought that you still had some of your old emotions deep in your heart, but you're cold to the core. Since that's the case, don't blame me for being ruthless in all her life. Zi Yan had rarely been angry, but this time, she was truly enraged. She had always had some hope for the Pill Fairy. She felt that the Pill Fairy loved Long Chen, and even if they had to be enemies, she wouldn't really kill him. However, seeing her unleash a killing blow without hesitation against Nangong Zuiyu extinguished those hopes. Zi Yan understood Long Chen's character. If the Pill Fairy was targeting him, Long Chen would give her wiggle room based on their past relationship. However, if she killed Nangong Zuiyu, Long Chen would feel endless guilt and rage. Long Chen always said to target him, as he was afraid of implicating the innocents. Hence, the Pill Fairy's actions were equivalent to fully breaking off ties with Long Chen. So Zi Yan was enraged. Icily, Zi Yan began to play her zither. It was completely different from the gentle music of the past. Now her zither music was filled with murderous intent, and every note resonated throughout heaven and earth. A sharp blade shot out of the zither's strings. The invisible blade sliced through the void. Shocked, the pill fairy vanished, reappearing miles away. A strand of hair slowly fell. Following that, her cheek became slightly hot. A trace of blood flowed out. The pill fairy was startled. She had clearly dodged the attack. So how was she still injured? Large waves soared in her heart as she looked at it. That zither is strange. Although the seven-string sea suppressing zither was renowned, it was not a god's inherited divine item. How could it threaten her with the Danite furnace and her god energy? Zi Yan continued playing, unleashing a multitude of invisible blades. The pill fairy immediately moved the Danite furnace in front of her. The invisible blade smashed into the Danite furnace. The sound was like that of a heavenly drum shaking the world. Following Zi Yan and the others, the other experts of the various powers also took action. One portion of them wanted to kill Long Chen, and another portion wanted to protect him. With the heaven splitting blade, the old man attacked Yu Ziaoyan and the others. Little bastards, let's have a fight to the death today. The martial heaven virtue tablet came out thanks to Kujinying, unleashing radiant light. The Zhuanshan Tower and the reincarnation mirror appeared. All the divine items of the various powers appeared. War had erupted because of Long Chen. Hundreds of the Martial Heaven Continent's strongest divine items began to clash against each other. The sight of such a thing was no less terrifying than the Heavenly Tribulation. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, the Pill Fairy, Di Fang, and other experts on their side were charging toward Long Chen. But Zi Yan, Nangong Zuiyu, Bidang Rushuang, Yi Lingxian, Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the other experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance were stopping them. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance's army was clearly weaker than the combined forces of the various powers, every one of their experts was fighting all out. Kun Pengzi and the others were unable to get past them. Long Chen was standing right within the rune now. He began drawing it into his body. Suddenly, a sword pierced out of the air. At some point, someone had managed to sneak over without anyone noticing. It's Yi Ben Chang. Bao Buping let out a furious roar. That bastard from the Divine Families was actually abusing his position to kill Long Chen. He was a powerful third step Nether Passage expert who was able to match ordinary fourth step Nether Passage experts. Yi Ben Chang, you're finally no longer hiding your power. Could it be that you're confident in killing me this time? Long Chen smiled disdainfully. You looked down on the Divine Families broke the law set down by the divine families, and instigated a war on the continent. You, Long Chen, deserve 10,000 deaths. Even with all of that, you still dare to slander people and add to your sins. Yi Ben Chang sneered and stabbed his sword straight at Long Chen's head. Boom. The void exploded and a giant dragon claw smashed into Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen snorted. Who do you think you are, Yi Ben Chang? Did you think I wouldn't have any defenses? As soon as the rune had appeared, Long Chen had known that such a thing would occur. Hence, Lai Long had been hidden in the void, preparing the lightning channel and telling the Drake King to be ready at a moment's notice. Yi Ben Chang slashed his sword at the giant claw. However, 
He was swatted away. He almost coughed up blood from the impact, causing his expression to change. Idiot. Do you think that you're a sovereign? Long Chen was full of contempt. The sovereign had managed to easily cut off the Drake King's claw with his sword. But did this fellow think that he could do the same? Long Chen focused himself on drawing the rune inside him. However, he found that there was a powerful repulsion preventing him from absorbing it. Long Chen angrily shouted, I gave you face, but you reject it? Get in here. Long Chen opened his mouth. The rune shrank down until he swallowed it. Explosive rumbling came from Long Chen's body. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood as the rune resisted. Haha, you got yourself killed. Yi Ben Chang laughed. His body suddenly split into 18 clones that attacked him from every angle, making the Drake King powerless to stop them all. However, unexpectedly, the Dragon Claw didn't come. Instead, it retreated into the Lightning Domain, leaving the giant channel in the air, through which a group of people came charging out. Yi Ben Chang, you son of a bitch. Just try to touch a single hair on my boss's head. Chapter 2317 Dragon Blood Legion vs. Heavenly Dragon Legion Translator Born to be a golden arrow reached Yi Benchang in the blink of an eye. Yi Benchang suddenly sensed something off, and a giant shield appeared in his left hand. Boom. The arrow exploded, unleashing a wave of golden light that shattered Yi Benchang's shield. This was Guo Ran's attack. Following that, the Dragonblood warriors charged out, all of them with towering killing intent. They all advanced to Nether Passage. Originally, this was the Dragonblood warriors' collective tribulation, but Long Chen had interjected himself midway, strengthening the tribulation and sending them into the Lightning Domain. Within the Lightning Domain, the tribulation lightning had grown so powerful that it had far surpassed the limits of what they could endure. In reality, their nether passage rune had long since been formed at that time. It was just that they hadn't realized it, and so they continued absorbing as much of the lightning as possible. Due to the Drake King's help in absorbing a portion of the lightning's most violent aspects, what was left was comparatively gentler. As for the Drake King, it wasn't too familiar with the human race's cultivation style, so it didn't know that the Dragonblood warriors had absorbed more than enough. Thinking that they hadn't absorbed enough to pass, the Dragonblood Warriors continued absorbing more and more even though they had reached their limits. They had compressed the energy when it filled them up and then absorbed more. With Long Chen in trouble, they came charging out. As a result, as soon as they stepped into the world of the Martial Heaven continent, the runes in their bodies came to life, causing their auras to instantly explode to a level that even they found unbelievable. An indescribable energy roared to life within their bodies. Boom. Gu Yang took the lead, his manifestation bursting into existence behind him and his spear piercing toward Yi Ben Chang. In this one-on-one -on -one exchange, Gu Yang was blown back, his arms shaking. However, he didn't receive any substantial injuries. That delighted him. Before this, he had been like an ant in front of Yi Ben Chang. Just one attack could have wiped him out. But now... Not even one hair on his head was harmed, although he didn't have any actual hair to harm. Yi Benchang was also startled. He had expected to give Gu Yang at least a serious injury just now. Even though Gu Yang and the others had advanced to the Nether Passage realm, he still didn't view them as anything more than insects to be swatted. Kill his clones, shouted Tang Wanur, holding translucent wind blades. She shot toward one of those clones. That clone of Yi Benchang's blocked with his sword, only to have that sword cut through like it was tofu. Her wind blade pierced forward, stabbing him through the head, killing the clone. What Yi Benchang's expression changed. That clone had possessed 80% of his power. Although he was not in his full power state, that clone was stronger than an average third step nether passage expert. Suddenly, another clone shuddered. A dagger had stabbed through the back of his head. A delicate figure appeared, a delicate figure who was the continent's most terrifying assassin, Dong Mingyu, Yi Zhikyu, Chu Yao, Meng Qi, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and the others all surrounded Long Chen. They slaughtered Yi Benchang's clones in just a few seconds. A towering willow grew high into the clouds. Lu Ruian brought Long Chen into the heart of the undying willow. If anyone wanted to harm him, they would have to defeat her first. 
Eliminate these hypocrites from the divine families who think they have any authority. Guo Ran charged straight toward Yi Benchang's true body. His dual sabers came out, their runes blazing with light. Boom. One of his sabers fell, causing sparks to fly. Guo Ran was blown back. Just at that moment, sword light pierced the heavens. The cold light and the sword intent made Yi Benchang feel cold. With a roar, Yi Benchang's manifestation burst into existence. With the pressure of Yu Zifeng's attack, he had to summon his full power. The reason he hadn't done so before wasn't just to put on a show. It was related to his cultivation technique. When he was in this state, he couldn't summon his clones. His original goal had been for his true body to stop the Drake King. While his clones killed Long Chen, he hadn't expected the Dragonblood Legion to come out and for their power to far surpass what he had predicted. Vanish Slash Yi Benchang's sword swept forward, drowning Yu Zifeng's sword Qi. A wave of his attack continued toward Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and the others Novaloon.com block together, shouted Guo Ran. When Yi Benchang was at full power, he was comparable to a fourth-step nether passage expert. Hence, the Dragonblood warriors linked their manifestations, and 10,000 swords flew in unison. Boom. Sword Qi exploded. The Dragonblood Warriors collectively fell back. Yi Benchang's power was actually on par with theirs. Yi Benchang was also forced back several steps. Blood dripped down his arm. At some point, a bloody hole had appeared in his shoulder. A shocked expression appeared on his face. Just now, his attack had wiped out the Dragonblood Warriors' attacks. The only thing he hadn't been able to erase was Yu Zifeng's sword Qi. In the end, he had been forced to dodge using his shoulder to take it. The sharp pain made him frown. The will of the sword Da remained in his wound, and his heavenly Dao energy was actually unable to heal it. He was unable to believe that Yu Zifeng's sword Dao had reached such a terrifying level. Dragonblood cross slash. Guo Ran crossed his blades. Runes appeared around every member of the Dragonblood Legion. As a result, all their power surged toward Guo Ran. A giant cross split the void crossing the distance in an instant. At the center of it was Yi Ben Chang. Yi Ben Chang's hair stood on end. He felt a sensation of death envelop him. If he took this attack alone, he would be on death's door, if not already dead. Heavenly Dragon Blood Explosion. 10,000 Deos into one. Just at that moment, the warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Legion sent rays of divine light into Yi Ben Chang's manifestation. The Heavenly Dragon Legion actually had their own way to merge their power. With the support of the Heavenly Dragon Legion, Yi Benchang slashed his sword. In this instant, his manifestation vanished, with all the power that had gathered within it entering his sword. This was a clash of world-shaking attacks. The combined power of the Dragonblood Legion met the combined power of the Heavenly Dragon Legion. A giant black hole appeared where they crashed, and it rapidly grew. The void shuddered. Time and space were destroyed. The Dragonblood Warriors felt like they had been struck by a giant hammer and hacked up blood. The Heavenly Dragon Legion was the same. Some of their experts had their foreheads split open and let out cries. Their souls had been merged into that attack. So the impact of that attack had been felt even more closely by them. Yi Benchang was sent flying, his sword-wielding arm broken. He coughed up three mouthfuls of blood and was pale with some lingering fright. That attack had been even more powerful than he had expected. If it hadn't been for the support of the 10,000 members of the Heavenly Dragon Legion, he definitely would have died. Kill them, roared Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen couldn't be left alive, but now Yi Ben Chang knew that the Dragon Blood Legion couldn't be left alive either. Kill. The Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors charged out in full force. Brothers, the Dragon Blood Legion was created by our boss. Today. We'll show the world just who the strongest Legion in this world is, shouted Guo Ran. His armor blazed with light as he led the charge against the Heavenly Dragon Legion. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Cloud, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan charged toward Yi Ben Chang. Endless falling wood, brambles bury the heavens. As Guo Ran led the charge, Chu Yao made the first move. Her wooden staff summoned countless whips of thistles and thorns in midair. They shot toward Yi Benchang like pythons. These brambles had actually taken root in midair. That was a strange sight. They were completely black, 
like creepers from hell and were filled with the aura of death. Yi Benchang had never seen such a strange wood attribute magical art, nor had he ever heard of such a thing, which wood element magical art didn't sprout from the earth. Sensing their oddness, he didn't dare to be careless. He retreated as he attacked them. Yi Benchang's sword slashed into the brambles, only to find that they were so tough that he could only break a few of them with each strike. Most shocking of all, after being severed, the brambles would take root again and continue coming after him. Within the world of brambles, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Yu Zifeng, and the others' attacks sent Yi Benchang further and further back, completely flustered. Bastards. Yi Benchang saw that the heavenly dragon Legion was actually in a stalemate with the dragon blood Legion. The heavenly dragon Legion's warriors were all nether passage experts of the third step, but they were unable to suppress these rookies who had just stepped into the nether passage realm. Seeing Long Chen hiding within Lu Ruyan's towering willow body while absorbing the rune, a sense of crisis overwhelmed Yi Benchang. If Long Chen managed to absorb it and advance to the nether passage realm, he would no longer be able to rest in peace. Divine blood ignition. Blood suddenly seeped out of Yi Benchang's skin, transforming into flames that enveloped him. Boom. Yi Benchang slashed his sword, tearing through Chu Yao's brambles. In that instant, Yi Benchang's aura doubled in power, and his figure vanished as he charged through everyone's blockade, going straight toward Lu Ruyan. Long Chen. Die. Yi Benchang concentrated all his power into this one attack. Ruayan, shouted Meng Chi. Boom. The sword fell and caused Lu Ruayan's towering willow to explode along with Long Chen. Chapter 2318 The Nether Passage Realm. Life and Death Energy Translator. Born to be Meng Chi and the others let out startled cries. But Yi Benchang didn't show any delight. What he had killed was a fake. After the willow exploded, the space in the distance twisted and another giant willow appeared. It was unknown what method Lu Ruyan had used to switch out with a scapegoat and bring Long Chen away. Die. Lu Ruyan's figure had only just appeared when a giant figure came charging forward. It was Kun Pengzi in his Kunpeng form. Watch out. He's igniting the Peng Emperor's essence blood. Bidang Rushuang's furious cry rang out from the distance. Even working together with Nangong Zuayu, they were unable to stop him in that state. That Peng Emperor's essence blood he had ignited was incomparably precious. Kun Pengzi's current power was alarming. With every flap of his wings, it seemed like an entire cosmos could be suppressed. His power was not at all inferior to Yi Benchang's previous attack. Lu Ruyan could use her scapegoat art once within a certain time frame. Hence, this time, she could only wrap her branches together into a gigantic wall. However, in front of Kun Pengzi who was igniting the essence blood of the Peng Emperor, her defenses seemed weak. They were instantly blown apart, and Kun Pengzi's giant wing slammed toward Long Chen and Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan's expression finally changed. The current Kun Pengzi was horrifyingly powerful. His attacks contained the pressure of an emperor, and her abilities were unable to stop him. She prepared to fling Long Chen away, using her own life to win him some time. Just as she prepared to throw him into the distance, Long Chen's body blazed with light. A heaven-shaking aura shot out in every direction. Evil Moon let out its own dragon roar and slashed at Kun Pengzi. Boom. A giant explosion rocked the battlefield, and blinding light exploded like a firework. It was like a star had just exploded. It was both beautiful and stunning. When the light dissipated, it revealed Long Chen's figure. Wind whipped his black robes and hair. His aura was calm, so calm that it was almost impossible to sense. It was completely different from his old explosive aura. His aura was now so calm that it was a bit frightening. Wielding his saber with one hand, he blocked Kun Pengzi's wing which was as big as a mountain. Divine light roved within his eyes. He suddenly roared. Scram. His voice was like thunder. As Long Chen's aura exploded, his divine ring revolved, with six stars appearing in his eyes. His power burst forth like a volcano. Kun Pengzi's giant body was sent flipping back. Even while igniting the Peng Emperor's essence blood, he was unable to resist that power. A pillar of light soared into the sky with Long Chen at the center. His aura was like two furious dragons coiling around each other. Space rumbled as if it would be torn apart by a hurricane. What horrific life and death energy. 
He only just entered Nether Passage. How can he possess such an explosive aura? The other experts were all stunned by this sight. Just standing there, Long Chen released his aura, which was like a volcano erupting after it had been dormant for millions of years. A huge amount of energy burst into the sky, forming a giant whirlpool. Kun Pengzi's aura was extremely powerful, especially after he had ignited the Peng Emperor's essence blood. But even his aura was suppressed by Long Chen. The current Long Chen was like a devil king descended upon the mortal world. Killing intent surged within his eyes. He suddenly stamped his foot down. Seeing Long Chen suddenly vanish from his original location. Kun Pengzi was horrified. His full power lock was actually something that Long Chen could completely ignore. Split the heavens eight. Evil moon lit up above Kun Pengzi's head. And its two dragon marks seemed to come to life. An evil air exploded out of Evil Moon, like a sealed fiend had been released. Kun Pengzi felt like a devil was locked onto him, and his whole body turned cold. He folded his wings, manifesting an entire cosmos in the air. Countless stars revolved within that cosmos. Peng Emperor Divine Ability. Kun Peng breaks the heavens. Kun Pengzi's blood chi reached a peak. The cosmos that he had manifested smashed into Long Chen. The cosmos was split as easily as tofu by the saber image. Kun Pengzi was stunned, unable to believe that even the Peng Emperor's divine ability was unable to stop Long Chen. It was too late to dodge. The only thing he could do was avoid being struck in his vitals. As a result, one of his giant wings was cut off. Kun Pengzi screamed. The wings of the Kun Peng race contained their life's essence. Every feather was linked to their soul. The pain of having a wing cut off was equivalent to having his soul torn apart. That wing had just left his body when Long Chen grabbed and sent it into the primal chaos space. Ha ha ha. Tonight I'll feast on roasted Kunpeng wings. Long Chen laughed as he swung Evil Moon again. Even Long Chen couldn't help feeling overwhelmed by excitement. He had finally advanced to the Nether Passage realm. His 108,000 astral spaces had grown 10 times larger and the Nethergate Star had been fully activated. Through the Nethergate Star, he was able to unleash the full power of his astral spaces. The thing that delighted him the most though was that his astral spaces had gained their own life and death energy. As he had been refining the heavenly Darun, his astral spaces started to give off their own life fluctuations. They began to manifest life. Their own laws appeared. The first law to appear was the law of life and death and Long Chen was the master of this law. His 108,000 astral spaces were now capable of giving rise to life and death energy. With just a thought from Long Chen, every astral space sent a stream of life and death energy into the Nethergate star, giving Long Chen endless power. Furthermore, when Long Chen sent his energy into Evil Moon, he could clearly feel that some kind of shackle had been broken. Evil Moon's power had also grown explosively. As a result, Kun Pengzi was unable to block him. Long Chen felt like he had inexhaustible energy. Although it wasn't too easy to control it all, that feeling of power was delightful. After cutting off Kun Pengzi's wing, Evil Moon's next target was Kun Pengzi's head. Kun Pengzi suddenly spat out a bolt of lightning. He had actually unleashed his inherited divine item, his lightning halberd. Boom. Evil Moon slammed into the lightning halberd and a heaven-shaking explosion sent the halberd flying. The resplendent lightning halberd was now dim. What kind of broken thing is this to dare to face me? Long Chen, smash apart that broken halberd. I've been suppressed for so long. It's time to show my might, cried Evil Moon. Once Long Chen broke through to the Nether Passage realm, another level of the seal within its body came undone. Like a magical beast that had been trapped for countless years and had regained its freedom. Evil Moon wanted to kill until it was happy. Evil Moon's power merged with Long Chen's power. Even without using any techniques, their power was terrifying. With one blow, they sent the lightning halberd flying, and Long Chen pressed onward to Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi rapidly retreated. Long Chen taunted. Didn't you say that my reputation was fake and that you would personally kill me? What happened to that arrogance lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back? and he stepped forward. Having lost one of his wings, Kun Pengzi's speed had obviously dropped. Long Chen caught up and unleashed another slash. Kun Pengzi's expression changed. 
His lightning halberd's internal divine runes had cracked from the previous exchange. If he used it to defend, then it would be forever crippled. Furthermore, his own soul would be injured by such a thing. However, there was nothing else he could do, and there was nowhere for him to go. He could only use the lightning halberd. By sacrificing it, he could win a brief chance to breathe. As long as he severed his spiritual connection to his divine item when he sacrificed it, it would reduce the backlash to the minimum. However, this divine item whose inheritance stretched back countless years would be gone forever. Seeing Long Chen's saber coming, Kun Pengzi had no other choice. He summoned the lightning halberd. He was about to sever his connection to it when a sword emitting a chilling light stabbed toward Long Chen's back. This sword was quick as lightning, and was his savior. If Long Chen chose to continue striking him, he would be forced to receive this sword. The timing of it was perfect. Yi Ben Chang, I was looking for you, but you actually sent yourself over. Long Chen's smile was cold. He swung Evil Moon behind him, giving up on killing Kun Pengzi. Boom. The sword and saber collided. Both Long Chen and Yi Ben Chang's bodies shook. Long Chen's arms tingled. But he saw that Yi Ben Chang's hand had torn and was bleeding from this exchange. Clearly, with just the cultivation base of a third step nether passage expert, Yi Ben Chang was slightly inferior to Long Chen when it came to pure power. Yi Ben Chang, you almost killed me last time in front of the Yun Yang world when you schemed against Dong Mingyu. Today, I'll settle our past and present enmities together. Long Chen immediately began attacking Yi Ben Chang. Completely ignoring Kun Pengzi, the ambush from last time had been extremely dangerous. At that time, he and Dong Mingyu had only been in the Life Star Realm, while Yi Ben Chang, a third step Nether Passage expert, had actually been so shameless as to sneak attack them. Long Chen was filled with fury toward him over that, but he was also wary. A person who would do anything to achieve their goals was the most shameless and also the most frightening. You caused a war on the continent and completely disregarded the divine families. You and everyone with you must be put to death. I'll be killing you today for justice. Snorted Yi Ben Chang, slashing his sword. Then let's see who kills who today. Long Chen focused on Yi Ben Chang. Now Meng Chi and the others were free of him and could control the rest of the battlefield. He didn't need to worry about anything else. Evil Moon shivered, ready to strike. However, just at that moment, a black hole appeared in the void, devouring Long Chen in an instant. Following that, an enormous entity appeared silently. Chapter 2319 Heaven Devouring Toad Translator Born to be that enormous entity was a giant toad, and its body was semi-translucent. After devouring Long Chen, its body became dark green. The Heaven Devouring Toad is a descendant of the ancient divine Heaven Devouring Beast. It contains its own world inside of it. Once someone is swallowed, there's no way for them to escape cried someone. The heaven devouring beast only existed within legends and myths. The legend spoke of a beast in the divine world capable of swallowing the sun, moon, and stars, as well as devils and gods. It was called the heaven devouring beast. As for the heaven devouring toad, it was originally just a magical beast, but due to a battle between divine beasts. It had swallowed a drop of the heaven devouring beast's blood, resulting in a mutant that possessed the blood of a divine beast. Although the heaven devouring toad was not as frightening as the heaven devouring beast, it still possessed its own world within its body. It couldn't devour the sun and moon, but the world inside it was known as the blood domain prison. It existed to devour. Any magical beast sucked into its internal world would find itself in an endless sea of blood. That sea of blood was the heaven devouring beast's digestive juices. Even a divine item would be digested by those corrosive juices, let alone the physical body. The heaven devouring toad was similar to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race in that they both possessed a trace of the heaven swallowing beast's blood. However, in comparison, the heaven swallowing toad's intelligence was much lower. It was more like magical beasts rather than a Xuan beast. Due to how great of a threat they posed, it was said that the experts of that time had banded together to make them extinct. Unexpectedly, one had appeared here. Furthermore, its aura was extremely powerful. It was at the peak of the 12th rank. This was a monster of nightmares that horrified people. 
It was different from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race in that its devouring ability trapped people in a prison. For the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, what was swallowed would be instantly annihilated in its stomach. But the heaven-swallowing toad's stomach was said to slowly corrode anyone who entered. Supposedly, it was a slow torture of pain, terror, and despair. Yi Benchang jumped onto the heaven-swallowing toad's back. He placed a hand on its head and sent a rune into its body. Long Chen, I won't let you die so easily Yi Benchang smiled cruelly. Long Chen had many secrets, so it would be too regretful if he simply died. This heaven-swallowing toad was Yi Benchang's steed. Due to its low intelligence, he had to send this rune in to control the prison and make sure Long Chen wasn't killed. He had the utmost confidence in this steed of his. This heaven-swallowing toad had been raised with the full resources of his family. The amount that had been spent was unimaginable. It might even be more than what had been spent on him. Even a fourth-step nether passage expert wouldn't be able to escape upon being swallowed. It was his strongest trump card. And even within the divine families, only a few people knew this secret. Today, he had exposed it to great effect. Suddenly, two large bubbles bulged out of its cheeks. The void rumbled. Blood-colored runes appeared all over its body, turning its dark green body red. At the same time, its body began to inflate. What Ji Benchang was startled. He had never seen such a thing happen to the heaven-swallowing toad. It transmitted its feeling of terror, but its thoughts were too muddled for him to understand what it was saying. Not good. Seeing cracks appear in its skin, Ji Benchang immediately jumped off and fled. Boom. The giant heaven-swallowing toad had inflated to the point that it was ten times its original size when it finally exploded. Flames exploded out of it, turning the surroundings into a sea of flames. The heaven-swallowing toad's corpse was incinerated into nothingness. Within the dancing flames stood a figure with a black saber. The intense flames were gentle in front of him. They were like a cool breeze blowing back his clothes and hair. You actually sent out a toad to die? Yi Ben Chang. Has your silly ass run out of tricks? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen had also been badly frightened upon being swallowed. He had entered a world that was a sea of blood. When he entered, the sea of blood had transformed into countless strange beasts that pounced on him. The corrosive power of that blood had made his heart shake. The worst thing was that that world's laws were strange, giving Long Chen a feeling that he wouldn't be able to leave no matter how strong he was. However, when he used the world extermination flame lotus and activated the nirvana scripture, he found that even within this strange world, the nirvana scripture still worked. Endless flame energy had gathered toward him. What Long Chen didn't know was that the flame energy he was drawing out wasn't from the martial heaven continent. It was also from this strange world. And as a result, when the world extermination flame lotus fell, that entire world's laws were shattered. It had inflated until it had exploded. Bastard, what did you do? Roared Yi Ben Chang. The steed he had nourished with his blood and sweat had been killed. Just at that moment, Long Chen came charging at him, unleashing a simple slash of his saber. Due to the distraction, Yi Ben Chang used his soul to lock him down. Yi Ben Chang's expression changed. The opening from the death of his heaven swallowing toad had been grasped by Long Chen. He barely managed to raise his sword but was blown back, coughing up blood. In a clash between experts, a single opening was enough to decide victory or defeat. Suddenly, the space behind Long Chen rumbled, and lightning spears shot toward him. Kun Pengzi had returned. Just now, Yi Benchang had saved Kun Pengzi. Seeing him in trouble, Kun Pengzi came to disturb Long Chen. It wasn't due to how loyal he was, but that they had no choice but to join forces. A blood-colored spear also tore through the void bringing with it the cries of ghosts. That spear was like a curse from hell. A chill filled the air. The only one capable of unleashing such an evil curse attack was Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi wasn't planning on just watching as the most powerful experts fought. He also unleashed his strongest trump card. At the same time, a giant figure appeared in the air. It was an emperor with a golden crown. Another spear pierced toward Long Chen, as Di Feng had also made his move. He stood in the head of the giant emperor and merged with the blood emperor, unleashing immense pressure. Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, and Di Feng unleashed their strongest attacks. 
As for Yi Benchang who had been retreating, he let out a cry and came to a sudden stop. He spat a mouthful of blood onto this sword, causing wriggling blood runes to appear over it. Blood sacrifice. Life devouring slash. Yi Benchang's sword slashed out along with the attacks from the other three. Even if you join forces. So what? Other than the sovereigns. Have I ever been afraid of anyone in the same realm? Long Chen shouted. His 108,000 astral spaces all sent a stream of life and death energy to his nethergate star. The nethergate star shuddered, linking all that power. At the same time, the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate stars lit up. All of Long Chen's power streamed into Evil Moon. Evil Moon shook intensely multiple times. It was like one shackle after another inside of its body was being broken. Its power crazily climbed. Haha, <laughs> there's finally enough power. Long Chen, no need to use split the heavens. I'll teach you the peerless technique of my evil dragon race. Evil Moon cried out excitedly. An evil aura caused the world to shake. Evil dragon executes the heavens. Suddenly, Long Chen and Evil Moon let out an identical roar. The void exploded as a giant saber image sword. That saber image was like a giant dragon's tail, as well as a crescent fang. B O O O M. Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Di Fang, and Yi Benchang's attacks instantly exploded. Huge ripples spread in every direction. All five of them were sent flying. Tian Zizi's spear shattered. Kun Pengzi's lightning halberd vanished, and Di Feng's blood emperor figure disintegrated. They began hacking up blood, and their forehead split open. Yi Benchang's sword was broken, with its fragments stabbing his body. This had been a collision capable of shaking the world. The ripples even affected the entire battlefield to the point that countless experts were blown far into the distance and badly injured. The chaotic battle came to a stop because there was no way to continue fighting. Everyone had to focus on staying alive, and they fled for their lives in the face of those shock waves. As they retreated, they saw four wretched figures within the distorted space. Hey, where's Long Chen? People cried out, unable to see the fifth figure that they had just seen. Young master, watch out. Suddenly, the Kunpeng race's experts let out heart-rending cries. They had noticed a figure with a black saber suddenly appear behind Kun Pengzi. When they saw that figure, every expert of the Xuan beasts froze in horror. Before Kun Pengzi could react. That sinister black saber stabbed through his back. Chapter 2320 Slaying Kun Pengzi Translator Born to be Evil Moon pierced through Kun Pengzi's body. Wrapped in black chi, it was like an evil dragon's toxic fang, devouring Kun Pengzi's life. Young master, the Kun Peng race's experts along with the rest of the Xuan beasts cried out. Kun Pengzi was the descendant of the Peng Emperor and the hope of the Xuan beasts. All their hearts sank. Long Chen. If you dare, roared Peng Wanli. Evil Moon shook ever so slightly and Kun Pengzi exploded. In that instant, a translucent figure shot out. That was his Yuan spirit. However, just as it fled, Long Chen's saber fell, instantly blasting the Yuan spirit into specks of light that slowly dissipated. A peerless genius of his generation, descendant and heir of the Peng Emperor, a monster that had been sealed in the ancient era. The heavenly genius shouldering the hopes and dreams of the Kunpeng race and the Xuan beasts. Died. Seeing those specks of light slowly fade. Shock filled everyone. Kun Pengzi. Had been killed. Kun Pengzi was an expert blessed with immense karmic luck. Someone who had the blessing and protection of the heavenly deos. Such a figure rarely died. Even when encountering experts stronger than themselves. The protection of the heavenly deos would allow them to escape with their lives. But Kun Pengzi had still been killed by Long Chen. A wave of mournful cries came from the Xuan beasts. That one blow from Long Chen had severed any hopes of the Xuan beasts rising. That was satisfying. Let's continue. Evil Moon cried out excitedly. It's killing intent even stronger than Long Chen's. Perhaps it had been sealed for so long that its urges now exploded. It had an urge to slaughter the entire world. Long Chen rushed toward Yi Ben Chang who had already lost his mind out of fear. Of the four, Kun Pengzi had been closest, so he was the first unlucky target. As for Yi Ben Chang, he had become the second. Seeing Long Chen charging over with such killing intent, Yi Ben Chang finally revealed a look of terror. 
The previous exchange had badly wounded him, and he had yet to recover. Long Chen's attack just now had not only broken their combined attacks but also their confidence, leading them to no longer have the courage to keep fighting. Yi Benchang took out a soul-calming jade that made Long Chen's pupils shrink. It didn't have the same design and color as his, but the fluctuations coming from it were definitely the same. The design was different, but it also had nine lines, making it a nine-line soul-calming jade. Yi Benchang was about to crush it. An invisible wind blade silently slashed down, cutting off his arm before he could crush his soul calming jade. Tang Wan'er appeared. That wind blade came from the priceless treasure that Len Yuian had given her. It was perfectly suited to her cultivation technique, and she was able to use it to sneak up on Yi Benchang without anyone noticing. Yi Benchang's expression changed. Before he could grab the jade back, Evil Moon arrived, so he could only raise his broken sword. Yi Benchang's divine sword was easily sliced through, and Evil Moon cut through his ribs. Yi Benchang had been cut in two, as his weapon was broken and his body was crippled. He despaired. Long Chen, release our commander or the heavenly dragon Legion will annihilate your dragon blood Legion. The warriors of the heavenly dragon Legion tried to charge over, but the dragon blood Legion stopped them. Their crazy charge only resulted in deaths and injuries amongst themselves with not one person managing to get by. Annihilate the Dragon Blood Legion? How about we annihilate you first? Sneered Guo Ran. Although the other side was composed of third step Nether Passage experts, in terms of combat power, 10,000 against 10,000, the Dragon Blood Warriors were completely suppressing them. Almost 2,000 deaths had appeared amongst the Heavenly Dragon Legion, yet they dared to threaten the Dragon Blood Legion? At this time, Di Feng and Tian Zizi were dumbfounded. Kun Pengzi was dead and Yi Benchang was crippled. Theoretically, they should charge forward to run interference and give Yi Benchang a chance to recover. However, they were already defeated. Despite knowing what they should do, they didn't dare to. A desire to flee began to rise within them. After cutting Yi Benchang in half, Evil Moon didn't stop. Long Chen stabbed Evil Moon straight for Yi Benchang's head. Someone like Yi Benchang had to be eliminated. At such a young age, you're already so vicious, with no sense of mercy. Can someone like you lead the people against the foreign invaders just at that moment? An icy snort rang out. Although it was just a snort, the sound covered up the commotion of the battlefield. A hand reached out of midair toward Long Chen. In that instant, the world froze and every expert stopped moving. It wasn't that they didn't want to move, but that they couldn't. Every fluctuation seemed to repeat itself, as if the laws of heaven and earth had changed. This was the Samsara power of a fourth-step Nether Passage expert. Everyone knew that only someone capable of controlling Samsara power could forcibly change the laws of heaven and earth. Only now did they see an elder with a white beard appear in front of Long Chen. His face was covered in wrinkles, and it was extremely grave. The strange sight of his hand appearing first and only then noticing him showed that his power was affecting their senses. The elder's hand reached toward Long Chen's throat. Life and death energy manifested in his eyes. It was as if the world was under his control. Even Long Chen felt that his body was frozen. However, despite that, Long Chen still sneered. What does my viciousness have to do with you? Are you another bastard from the same hole as this one? The elder seemed to be the master of life and death. Killing intent sparked within his eyes because of Long Chen's words. Little brat, it seems your parents never taught you manners. I'll teach you in their place. Brilliant light exploded from his hand. However, just as it was about to touch Long Chen's throat, a giant figure appeared behind him. A bone club viciously slammed into the back of his head. People recognized that giant figure. It was wild. He had actually managed to silently sneak up on this elder. A resounding explosive sound rang out, and the frozen world instantly became undone. The laws of the world returned to normal. However, shockingly, even though Wilde's club had smashed into the back of the elder's head, that elder's head didn't explode. Those familiar with Wilde knew that his physical strength was even greater than Long Chen's. So were the heads of Fourth Step Nether Passage experts really that hard? Although his head didn't explode, his scalp was split open. Long Chen saw a ring of light around Wilde's club, blocking it. Most likely this was an instinctual defense. 
A fourth step Nether Passage expert seemed to possess an instinctual reaction to any danger. However, even if this club wasn't enough to kill him, it did make the elder dizzy. Long Chen took advantage of that. With the space around him unfrozen, he raised a hand and smacked the elder in the face, sending him flying. After that, his hand was quick as lightning, grabbing Yi Ben Chang's throat. Only then did the elder recover, seeing the odd gazes of countless experts. He shuddered from rage. Long Chen, you are courting death, he roared. He hadn't been planning on killing Long Chen and only wanted to suppress him. However, who would have expected that someone had been hiding within the void? Caught off guard, he was actually slapped in the face. Old fellow, you're the one courting death. Last time didn't count. Let me try again and see if your head is really so hard, demanded Wild. Wild was different from the Dragonblood Warriors. He didn't have any realms or tribulations to go through. He also didn't have any of the aura of a cultivator. Moreover, he was not affected by any restrictions or suppressions of the heavenly deos. Guo Ran had once said that if he made an invisibility cloak for Wild, he might be an even better assassin than Dong Mingyu. That little joke by Guo Ran was remembered by Xia Chen. He had specially made a special belt that could conceal Wild within the void. As long as Wild only moved around, no one would sense his existence. When he had first obtained that belt, Wild was so excited that he started playing hiding and seek. As a result, no one could find him. Only when he was too hungry and began to munch on things was he exposed. During this tribulation, Long Chen had had Wild hide in the void. As long as Long Chen didn't give the order, Wild wasn't to come out. Wild always listened to Long Chen. So even though the powerful shockwaves of the battle had sent him rolling back and forth, he had remained silent. Only when that elder came and froze the world did Long Chen give the order. Wild had stealthily gotten close as the elder's frozen space was unable to affect him. As a result, he managed to smash the elder in the head. However, because it was a sneak attack, it wasn't his full strength attack. Seeing the elder was fine, Wild was indignant and wanted to try it again. Wild, wait, Long Chen stopped Wild. That was a fourth step nether passage expert, and this battle was too dangerous for Wild. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and shouted, Elder Long, how long are you planning on just watching the fun?